Bible says the shouts of joy and victory shall not depart from the tents of the righteous. Hallelujah. In life, the winning side is always the shouting side. Don't you think we are just making empty noise? We are speaking out of revelation. Hallelujah. And he told Joshua, when you go around Jericho the seventh time, he said, let there be a shout. And the Bible says, as they shouted, that wall sank. Hallelujah. Are you ready to shout one more time? Hallelujah. Let me tell you the truth. Whatever will not let you go tonight must go for you. Hallelujah. Are you ready now? At the count of three. Those outside, are you ready? Shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. At the count of three, I like you to shout. Not, I don't just want the devil to know. But let the angels know that you are alive, you are strong. Hallelujah. One, two, three. Hallelujah. shout that shout one more time listen as you shout that shout one more time the power of God is going to come upon four people let me just have them out straight to the point let's get into the business of the night hallelujah you're not just jumping and shouting for nothing hallelujah ready thank you Jesus mm. at the count of three shout that shout from the depth of your heart one two is in trouble tonight hey two people there's one outside the power of god is coming upon that person outside one outside and the last person is inside hallelujah praise the lord just lift your hands and begin to bless his name The God that walks wonders. Bless him, just bless him in the spirit. Tonight we're calling on you. My altar is calling you. Oh God. My altar is calling you. Oh God. My praise is calling you, oh God. My worship is calling you, oh God. My worship. 
ocean is calling you. Oh, come, take my praise. Oh, come, take my praise. Ah. Lord, my altar is calling. My obedience is calling you tonight. Take my praise, oh Lord. Take my praise. Take my praise. of the living God thank you because you will honor the name of the son of the living God tonight did you will do great and awesome things in this place Lord there are many people who are here trusting you for very impossible things it is not given unto a man by his strength to help but Lord, I thank you because the spirit of the living God is able to bring liberty. The Bible says, now the Lord is that spirit. It says, and where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Lord, heal HIV tonight. Heal cancers tonight. Heal tumors tonight. Change genotypes tonight. Let yokes be broken in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Bless you. Just the two people can wait as we continue. Those four people must come out for us to continue. So we'll just continue and God will bring the people out. Hallelujah. Just allow me on stage to do my crazy thing as usual. Hallelujah. Why these things happen, brothers and sisters, I do not know. They are called signs and wonders. Hallelujah. They are not just some manifestations of foolishness my altar is calling you oh god my altar is calling there's one person outside the last person is outside my altar, my altar is calling that you will do tonight you will open doors that no man will shut you will change the stories of your people for you are not a man that you should lie you are not the son of man that you should repent when you declare you will bring to bear that which you have spoken and tonight we trust that you will do awesome things in this place hallelujah God bless you. Please be seated.
Thank you for lifting. Thank you for lifting. Thank you for lifting. Thank you for lifting my head. Thank you for lifting. Thank you for lifting. Thank you for lifting. Thank you for lifting. Thank you for lifting my head. Thank you for lifting. 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 I welcome everyone. Ah, the power of God is strong in this place. Goodness. That manifest presence. Strong and mighty. I'd like you to be very sensitive tonight. The power of God is very strong. God is already touching people. I tell you, I sense a very heavy unction of the spirit. Very, very heavy unction of the spirit. Hallelujah. Kabada Kasoto Bala Coast. Strings, just play strings. Take your place. Take your place. Take your place. Take your place. Take my body, my soul, my spirit. Breathe on me. Take my body, my soul, and my spirit. Breathe on me. You're the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost. You're the Holy Ghost. Bring them out. Holy Ghost. Take your place. Take your place. Take your place. Take your place. Take my body, my soul, my spirit. The power of God is strong outside, outside. Take my body, my soul, my spirit. Breathe on me. Breathe on me. Yeah. Say na 
takes the glory tonight there is only one who is worthy of praise hallelujah let me tell you something about the presence of God you can fake power but you cannot fake the presence of God we worship your majesty holy are you lord all of creation call you lord you are worthy your name we worship your majesty awesome God how great thou art you alone mighty are your miracles minute and say Lord touch me tonight I didn't come to watch others this is the last miracle service for this year please talk to the Lord we're going to be very brief tonight very sharp Proverbs 23, very quickly, just one prophetic word and we'll go into the business of the night. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's just a prophetic word for somebody tonight and then we will get into the business of the night. I tell you, God will do mighty things in this place tonight. Mighty. You see, the character of God is such that his power is greatest as the end of all things. Hallelujah. Verse 18. Blessed be the name of the Lord. It says, for surely there is an end. This is the first prophetic word for someone tonight. Take note, I'm under a very heavy unction. I'm not just making empty noise. Listen to me. Don't be fooled by what you are seeing. I'm under a very heavy unction tonight. For surely there is an end. For surely there is an end. For surely, no matter how long it stays, there is an end. Rento sote kalakata over that terminal disease surely there is an end over that marital delay surely there is an end the word of god says surely surely it may have taken so long surely if god be god surely there is an end Makataba, Ekotoskopa, 
Mekete Rekotosha Marekete Rekos Empreketeka Mount Sopa Rekotoseketa Surely there is an end to poverty Surely there is an end to weeping Surely there is an end to disappointment Surely there is an end to sorrow There is an end Surely there is an end Surely there is an end to that weeping Surely it will not continue being like this forever Surely you will not be buried forever Surely you will not be jobless forever Surely there is an end There is an end if it had a beginning it has an end if it had a beginning surely there is an end to that cancer surely there is an end to hiv surely there is an end to the assaults of darkness over your life surely surely there is an end There is an end. It does not last forever. There is an end. I'm bringing you a prophetic word. There is an end. No, you won't die with it. There is an end. You've been writing jam for so long. There is an end. You've been writing wayek for long. There is an end. Brothers and sisters, surely there is an end. There is nothing created by man that does not end. There is an end. There is an end. Hallelujah. There is an end. But there is only one responsibility on your own part. The Bible says, and your expectation. Your expectation. Not your assumptions. Not your grumblings and complainings not your discouragement he said yours all god needs is your expectation he doesn't want any noise no grumbling and say lord i came here january i came here february he said all i need tonight is your expectation for surely if you have an expectation there is an end hallelujah Habakkuk chapter 2. Don't turn there. The Bible says, listen. It says, do the vision tarry. Do the vision tarry. Things are permitted to tarry, but they are not permitted to remain forever. It says, do the vision tarry. Not at the beginning, not at the middle. It says, in the end, it must speak. Though it tarries, that little boy was born and there was a prophecy over his life that he would be the savior of the world it took 30 years though the vision tarried at the end it spoke though the vision tarries the bible says in the end it shall speak and god shall not and it shall not lie why the bible says God is not a man that he should lie. Numbers 23, verse 19. God is not a man. That means lying is normal with men. It's part of the human predicament. But the Bible says God is not a man that he should lie. He said, no, he see the son of man. That means he is not limited that he can change his words. B 
before God makes any statement, he looks at his ability, whether his ability can sponsor the gravity of that statement. And it's on the strength of his ability he speaks. Thy expectation. Thy expectation. Tonight, drop whatever impossibilities. The worship team led us and we prayed. And we sang. All God needs tonight is that you say, Lord, I know you are able. Are you hearing me? This is the one word. This is your own part. If you can play this part tonight, you will walk out with your miracle. Guaranteed. Hallelujah. See, listen. Let me tell you something. Listen to me, brothers and sisters. You see, these things that we do are not just a way of doing programs. Are you getting my point? This is a prophetic platform that God puts together so that you can experience the love and the authority that comes with the name of Jesus. Do you believe this? Let me show you one scripture. And then I'll begin ministering. Luke 9, verse 1 and 2. I want you to know that diseases and sicknesses are curable. Look at me. If I ask somebody who is short to remove this bulb, the person may not be able to reach there. If you carry a theory and say it's impossible to remove the bulb there, is that true? It was impossible for you, but it does not mean it's impossible. Luke 9, verse 1 and 2. Then he called his 12 disciples. Can you give us an amplified? Then he called together the 12 apostles and gave them power and authority over how many? All demons. He says, and to cure diseases. What does a drug do? A drug does not heal. It cures. Is that true? Next verse, verse 2. And he sent them out. He gave them power before sending them. And he sent them out to announce and preach the kingdom of God. And to demonstrate it by bringing healing. That means their presence comes with it. It's part of the carriage that comes with the grace. It didn't say to heal people. It said to bring healing. To bring it. To bring it. Are, are you getting what I'm saying? I want you to understand the kind of atmosphere. Because you see, the trouble with many believers is that when we try our, our human, our, we, are, we are very short-lived in patience. So when you trust God to heal that cancer and it looks like medically speaking is deteriorating. And then you wonder and say, Master, we have told all night. We've had this thing again and again. But tonight, I bring you a word. There is an end. The Bible says in the end, the vision will speak. This is December. You will not take anything that is supposed to be accomplished this year into next year. Next year is a fresh cycle. Are you getting my point? Surely there is an end. Brothers and sisters, it does not take time. It only takes God. Ah, it doesn't take time. It only takes God. For when God steps in and stamps his feet upon your situation, it will change at once. I hear the chains falling. I hear the chains falling, yeah. I hear the chains falling to break every chain, break every chain, break every chain, to break every chain, break every chain. I give 
the chains falling. I hear the chains falling. Hallelujah. If you are sick in your body tonight, listen. If you are sick in your body tonight, I want you to prepare to walk out of this place healed. I don't care what you came with. Are you listening to me? Prepare to walk out of this place. Listen, no matter how small it is, don't give excuses. No matter, even if it is headache, even if it's your hair falling, contend tonight and say, Lord, this is December. I would have been quiet if it was September, but this is December. There is no other 2013 again. There is an end. Hallelujah. The last day is the day when everyone can partake. He said, Jesus said on the third day, if any man thirst, the last day is the day for everyone. Hallelujah. We are going to take instant miracles in this place. Instant miracles. Hallelujah. Are you listening to me? So I want you to have expectation. As we begin to pray and as the word begins to come shake up that sickness check yourself do what you couldn't do before listen 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 see brothers and sisters we are not faking this thing you are seeing are you are you getting what i'm saying well, this thing we are not faking it what do we have to gain to come and stand here and just be acting we are not faking this thing so you had better believe don't just let your neighbor rejoice. If it was Joshua Selman who was doing this thing in my own strength, I'll tell you just go home because I'm wasting your time. Oh, but there is a name. John said there is one mightier than I. Mightier. There is a government that backs what you see happening. And tonight, we want to let every devil in hell know that we arrived December and we must finish strong. Hallelujah. You're going to rise up and we'll pray just for five minutes. And in that prayer, you're going to say, Lord, visit me. I will clap for my neighbor. But after I receive my own, whatever you came here with tonight, lift your voice and begin to pray. No matter how impossible it is, take your eyes, take your eyes, please, take your eyes away from any impossibility. Yes, Lord, you are able. Yes, Lord, you are able. Pray. Say, Lord, that cancer will go. That barrenness will go. Believe the Lord. Believe the Lord. Hallelujah. Refuse to go back the same. Some of us came from end to end of this nation. You can't travel all the way in the air on the road and just come and enjoy and go. No, no. Tell yourself I'm coming to get something. Hallelujah. 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 Now, please listen. I want to encourage us, especially for those of us who are sick. It's important to respond to the prophetic word. Do what you cannot do. And please, when you, there will be all kinds of breakthroughs. All kinds. Not just healings. Hallelujah. Even those who will be delivered. Don't you think you are just falling for nothing? something will happen to you hallelujah 
Many of us, even as the meeting is going, we're going to be receiving words from our loved ones that things are happening, things are changing. Hallelujah. Don't be afraid and don't be ashamed. This is the last service. We really have to be very fast. I'm saying this because we may not have all the time again. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Are you ready for what God will do in your life? You do not want to know the amount of prayer and fasting and travail that goes into these meetings. Don't let these suits deceive you. Hallelujah. Father, glorify yourself tonight. Let no man, let no man take the glory. Tonight, I ask you, your people are in pains. Your people are in tears. Their family members are dying. They are being eaten up by diseases and sicknesses. And Lord, if you do not step in tonight, there is nothing we can do. Rejoice, rejoice, Emmanuel shall come to thee, O Israel. Rejoice, rejoice, Emmanuel shall come to thee. Oh, Israel. Thank you, Jesus. Blessing. 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 There is a lady by the name Blessing. I'm hearing the Lord is ministering to me. Blessing. Please, if I just call your case, let's just hurry up very quickly so that we save time. Blessing. Shall come to thee, O Israel. Jesus. your mother we need to pray for her that that which the devil purpose will not come to pass rejoice rejoice Emmanuel shall come to thee O Israel hallelujah father step in to the mother's life and change things right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let everything that is not of God be changed right now in the name of Jesus. Come. Lay your hands on your stomach and I pray for you. Thank you, Jesus. I rebuke that spirit. Come out now! Shall come to thee, O Israel. Hallelujah. My dear, it's you. You must let her go in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, let every infirmity, darkness, let us. Let it leave her right now in the name of Jesus Christ. All the other people, God bless you in Jesus' name. We have to rush. Praise God. I believe in casting out devils. No advancement, no technology will confuse us. Hallelujah. Are you listening to me? Because... 
at the root of many people's situations even what you think is sickness the power of god is present bring them out that devil of darkness listen satan comes to steal to kill and to destroy but it says i am come that ye may have life hallelujah the bible says upon mount zion certain things will happen he said there will be holiness and then there will be deliverance and after that the way will be cleared and the sons of jacob will now possess their possessions hallelujah praise god and the devil is going to bow tonight there is power in the name of jesus there is power in the name of jesus there is power in the name of jesus to break every chain break every chain break every sing it chain. once from your heart One more time from the place there of your heart. Power, there is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. To break every chain. Break every chain. Break every chain. Hallelujah. I don't need to begin to explain myself again but I told you causes exist yokes exist there are people carrying them today who have been deceived that nothing is going nothing is wrong but on account of what Christ has done our job tonight is to stamp it by the power of the Holy Ghost so right now we are going to set on fire everything that has not been planted by God hallelujah I want you to get ready because the Bible says surely there is an end it says for surely there is an end if it had a beginning it has an end rise up on your feet everyone Hush. hallelujah praise the Lord see the power of God will shake many of us inside and outside to the foundations until everything that does not look like him leave are you getting me there is there is fire in this place especially for those outside we are going to count three and we will shout that name Jesus I want you to get ready at the shout of that name not just for you hallelujah not just for you alone but for your loved ones whatever will not let you go this night must go for you hallelujah are you ready now thank you jesus christ see i'm telling you i see a lot of oppression especially outside a lot of oppression this is why god has sent us bible says he gave them authority he gave them power said through who through faith subdued kingdoms wrought righteousness hallelujah lift your hands everybody at the count of three i want you to shout listen these are the things that limit people these are the things that limit destiny and tonight god has brought us so that we can experience his power hallelujah there's fire in this place at the count of three i want you to shout the name jesus inside and outside the overflow here and the other one there shout jesus at the count of three and at the mention of that name let's see the power that will stand hallelujah tonight is your night of liberty bring them out please ushers be sensitive hallelujah are you ready now thank you jesus let your power move across this place inside and outside 
I confront gates and doors and altars and yokes and everything that is not of God. The presence of God is here and in the mighty name of Jesus it will bow. Are you ready now? One, two, three. Let God's people go. Go, 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 go. Every foul devil, every wicked spirit, inside and outside, come out now. Come out now. Come out now. Shake it, 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 it. Rekotokata. Maka prosto posha. Embrete kete. Lekoto sote kata. Shake it, 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 Let God's people go now. Let God's people go now. Let God's people go now. By the fire of the Holy Ghost. Let God's people go now. Are you ready to shout one more time? Are you ready to shout one more time? At the count of three, shout that name, Jesus. One, two, three. Every power, every altar of darkness, I set on fire outside. Let the fire of God move outside. Let the fire of God move outside. Let the fire of God. Move outside with the drone principality. We command an exodus. We command liberty. Let God's people go by the power of the blood. By the power of the blood. Hallelujah. 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 Now we are going to pray. Listen. This one is not just you right now, but your family members. Hallelujah. Many of you, what will happen to you now will be the power of God challenging the things that camouflage themselves in your family. Hallelujah. Are you ready now? Don't tell me there's nothing going wrong. Don't let the devil confuse you, brothers and sisters. Hallelujah. At the count of three, I want you to shout that name again. There are a lot of people outside, especially from this first overflow. A lot of people outside. Listen, if you love your family members, I'd like you to stand. Stand for them. This is the root problem that disguises itself. It, it may have different names. He said the enemy has done this. Don't let technology confuse you. Upon Mount Zion there shall be deliverance. Are you ready now? Lift your hands please. Jesus, thank you. My God, there will be a mighty wave of the Spirit. All you need to do for me is to flash the cymbal. Are you ready now? At the count of three, with all your heart, my God, let your power move, representing families with dethroned yokes, in the name of Jesus. One, two, three. Gopokotos. Families be free. Families be free. Gopokotos. Reketeteta. E protokoshopa. I challenge altars. Yokes. Goproskopa. Crying down families. 
tying down families. Hey, I, come, I, come, I, come. I command, lose them now. Lose them now. Every enchantment, every divination. Now, be loose. Be loose by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Be loose. For where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Where the spirit of the Lord is. Heal the sick. Cast out devils. Now every foul spirit afflicting these people at the count of three time up you must go one two three go 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 on your mark set go 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 now go 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 don't waste that time go out of them and go now there is power in the name of Jesus there is power in the name of Jesus. There is power. Bring her, don't worry, I'll shut the name of Jesus. Bring her to break every chain. 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 Yeah. Break every chain. Break every chain. Break every chain. Just bring her here. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. Bring her. Don't waste our time. Go. Leave her. Leave her. Go. Now. Help. That's the end. Go. We don't have all of that time to waste. We have to do a lot of things. Hallelujah. Listen. There are two people outside. Ushers, I want you to help them so they don't injure themselves. The power of God will pick them and bring them inside. Right now. It will happen right now. Two people outside. Please just guide them so they don't injure themselves. Right now. Let the angel that confirms the word of the Lord right now by the power of the Holy Ghost two people outside I hear the chains falling I hear the chains 
falling in. I give the chains falling. falling. Hallelujah. Now listen. Listen. Hallelujah. You had a dream. Please listen to me. You had a dream. And the snake, a snake beat you on your left leg. A dream. It was in a dream. But it was very real. Please, who is that person? Please, let's save time. Come out quickly. You're a guy. Come out quickly. You're a guy. Let's hurry up. If you're still thinking about it, go back to your seat. Snake beat you on your left leg. Praise the Lord. Now, there is a lady here. Please listen. There is a lady here. You hear voices and they speak to you. This has happened for a long time. I mean real voices. Evil voices, I mean. Now, not the voice of the spirit. In fact, it's one of the things that has bothered you. You've shared it with a friend. Please, who is that? Very quickly. Very quickly. Come very quickly. I'm just flowing by the spirit right now. I give the chains falling, falling. I give the chains falling. Lump in the left breast has just been healed. Lump in the left breast. The Lord is healing someone. Please check yourself. We'll take some testimonies. Lump in the left breast just got healed right now. Hallelujah. Brother, hold my hands. Whatever has not been planted by God leaves you now. Look at me. Look at me. Your spiritual life. You see, the Bible says, He that breaks the hedge, the serpent will strike. Your spiritual life must be on fire. I give the chains. Please hold my hands. Let her go now. Thou devil. Come out. I see you in the spirit. Out. I give the chains falling. Look at me, my dear. Jesus will set you free. Okay? You believe that? Hold my hands. By the power of the Holy Ghost, let her be free right now from those demonic voices. Hallelujah. Peptic ulcer. Peptic ulcer. Peptic ulcer. Lay your hands on your stomach. We cancel that report. You will never hear any report of fibroid or growth. In the name of Jesus Christ. Come, my dear. Look at me. You love Jesus with all your heart. You want to be very serious with him because this is what the Lord is asking. It's not just the issue of healing and miracle. You see, listen, God is not a magician. It's not somebody you just run to, collect miracle and run and go back to do your life. My dear, the lady standing behind the two ladies with yellow, lift your hands. You, just lift your hands and look at me. How dare you defy the presence of God? How dare you defy the presence of God? Mm. For he will give us the eyes of eagles. Now in the name of Jesus, at the count of three, you are going right now. For I've seen you in the spirit. One, two, three. Out of her right now. Go, go, go. Go. I see the chains falling. Yeah. I see the chains falling. Hallelujah. God bless you. We have a lot to do. My brother, you love the Lord with all your heart. I want you to know 
that when you stay in his presence it melts away every darkness you must believe this hallelujah you must believe this jesus said satan cometh to me and does not find anything of himself when he finds himself in you it becomes a doorway hallelujah the bible says come out from among them and be ye separate and touch not the unclean thing i set you free in the name of jesus i set you free in the name of jesus please quickly i set you free now i want to pray for people with peptic ulcer peptic ulcer please peptic ulcer just come out quickly file out here quickly please let's save time our brother is wedding tomorrow and we don't want to take too much of your time while they are coming out let's appreciate our soon-to-be group <laughs> hallelujah our brother Jimmy and his wonderful wife to be hope wave your hands hallelujah tomorrow by this time they'll be happily married so we really don't have much time peptic ulcer please come out quickly break every chain we're going to minister to everyone. Just please, I hope we all have a sir. Please lift your hands. You yes, just lift it high. Look at me. That devil, right now, I command to leave you. Just look at me. Just look at me. Right now. Take your hands off his life. Right now. Right now. Come out of him right now. I hear the chains falling. Look at me, brothers and sisters. Please look at me. This is not magic. We are not playing games. This is business tonight. Right? You have a role to play. Your role is to believe God. Forget about me. Are you following me now? Hi, good to see you. Come. She used to hold my Bible those days. Come now. No, she used to hold light for me. Remember? First and second generation here now. Third generation, the Ajebo people, they will know. Hallelujah. These were the ladies that went for crusade those days. We were broke, but we had God. So we knew it was just a matter of time. Hallelujah. And then they used to climb the trees to plug firewood. But now most of our ladies, oh, the stove is not good. I want microwave. I'm just joking, but I'm serious. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I'm going to pray for you. That devil is a liar. Hallelujah. That devil is a liar. So I'll start with you. Can I pray for you? Please make sure you have your request. I'm so glad we have a lot of men of God here. I saw Prophet Bab celebrate him. God bless you, sir. Hallelujah. Manasseh in the house. Celebrate him all the way from Abuja. We're going to do a lot of that, but Pastor Williams is here. Hallelujah. The pastor house on the rock, Kano is here. God bless you, sir. Thank you. We love you. We appreciate you. Jake's all the way from Abuja. Bishop is here. Good to be married. He's just smiling. He has been smiling. Hallelujah. Okay, I see Suleiman. Suleiman is here. And we're happy to have Kenny back, too. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. All right. Let's, let's deal with the issues we have now. Praise God. Please, while you're standing there, I want you to be praying, even as we minister to these people. The Lord will heal you now in Jesus' name. It will be very fast because we have a lot of cases to deal with. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Ah, there is something the Lord is showing me. There is someone is already becoming for you like madness. Madness. Sometimes you start talking or doing things as if you're not in your right mind. Please, if you're here or somebody brought him, immediately we finish, just bring the person out. It's, it's like madness. Hallelujah. It's like madness. That devil is a liar. Hallelujah. As we worship in your presence, there is healing. The Holy Spirit gentle touch is flowing. Your 
very seal the Holy Spirit chants to touch his blowing Jesus we believe we believe Jesus there is healing in your sick person this is the time to minister to them hallelujah i won't be doing this alone i'm glad we have um a lot of hands and we're going to do that please carry him if you, if you can't get up just take him and let him lie down somewhere there so that we can have space come just on ha. you won't be mad in jesus name with someone sick please come out quickly please if you came with children if you came with children don't leave them alone just come out with them so that we can minister to them quickly please bring them out worship team you're going to lead us and um, let's have all of them ushers coordinate them hold on what's wrong with her let me just start with her quickly what's the issue hold on while they come, please hurry up. If you came here for healing, just come and line up quickly. What's her issue? Let me just pray for her. I'm very touched seeing her. Who brought her? She came on her own. Did she tell you she's sick? What's wrong? Hepatitis. That's, that's what is wrong with her now. Or she just fell down. Hold my hands. Mm, I bring you life power of the kingdom I represent in the mighty name of Jesus Christ you are not hepatitis you are a spirit you won't confuse us go now out of her in the mighty name of Jesus Christ let her rise up whole just let let just let leave her down she rise up whole hallelujah those of us standing here I need you to know that there are two great spiritual weapons that are responsible for the release of God's healing. Please listen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Healing comes from the body of Jesus. Are you listening to me? Healing comes from the body of Jesus. But in scripture, there have been two 
categories of scenarios that compel the healing power of God. Number one, when people acknowledge the Lordship of Jesus Christ. Second, when they cried for mercy. God cannot hear mercy and not act. Blind Bartemius said, have mercy on me. The Bible says, it is only for the Lord's mercy. Otherwise, it would have been consumed. He said, I will have mercy. Even favor can happen only when mercy is released. Hallelujah. He said, thou shall arise and have mercy upon Zion. The goal is not mercy. The goal is favor. But without mercy, the favor of God cannot show up. Mercy is not for sinners. It's the character of God that compels his compassion. Hallelujah. It has nothing to do with getting born again. Praise the Lord. Look at these children. Only God knows what is wrong. See my friend with beer, beer cap. Come. Let's start with you. You and your brother. <laughs> Look at them. Turn around. Let's see wonderful children with their beer caps. You must be healed. In Jesus' name. All right. So I'll invite the men of God, Jakes, Bishop, Manasseh, Ejimi. How about healing the sick and casting out devils on your wedding eve? That's right. Rather than drinking beer and receiving a yoke that you cannot manage. Praise the Lord. Prophet, sir. Please, we're going to minister to them. Just, just direct them. It really doesn't matter who prays for you. Don't just say you must be. No, don't. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Worship team, are you ready? So let's pray. Thank you, Jesus. We will do this very fast. Okay, I'll pray for them. Go ahead. God is a miracle worker. God is a glorious God. Out of her. God is go, go, go. a miracle worker. God is a glorious God. God is. He's a glorious 
and he's the glory of God. Let me hear you say, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. He's the glory of God. Glory of God. One more time, say, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. God. Come on, say, I said, my God is, he is a miracle worker, miracle worker, my God is, he is the glory of God, glory of God, my God is, he is a miracle worker, miracle worker, miracle worker. Do the impossible. 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 Let me hear you say, do the impossible. Hallelujah. Please, as we are praying for you, make sure you check yourself. Check yourself. A lot of things are happening. Please stand up, everybody. Hallelujah. Now I'm seeing somebody, you're having a burning sensation. It comes very strongly, especially in the night. Like your half right side, almost the whole of your half right side, burning sensation from your chest region down sometimes to your leg. Please wish that person come out quickly. Come out quickly. Come out quickly. And then the Lord is showing me someone, in fact, a number of people, you are up to five. Hallelujah. You feel something moving in your body. This has happened recurrently. Sometimes it's so much you even have to turn. You feel it literally moving. Please come out quickly. Quickly, quickly. Please, let's save time. That devil must go. You're the one feeling this heat. I'll pray for you right now. Hold my hands. I rebuke stroke. <sighs> wow. I rebuke stroke in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I command you to leave you once and for all. In the name of Jesus Christ moving objects it will go right now you okay hold my hands look at me i set you free in the name of jesus christ be healed now in jesus name i'm going to pray for you now everything that is not of god must bow the Bible says your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. It says glorify God in your body. Hallelujah. Daddy, what's, who brought him? He came by himself. What's the issue, sir? Trying to take my body. Moving object. You can imagine a man like this and the devil just comes, that wicked devil. Daddy, the Lord Jesus sets you free. Please hold my hands. This is the spirit of death. This is not moving object. I am the resurrection and the life, Jesus says. So we bring you life from the kingdom that we represent. Satan, take your hands off his body. Blessed is he who comes in the name of our God. Let your health and vitality be restored. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Let me pray for you. We may not have time to minister to you one by one. Just hold your hands together and I'll pray for you. All those in this category. So I can just use one person as a point of contact. Hallelujah. What happened to you? You had what? When? yourself 
What did the doctor say happened to you? Okay, and they treated you for your healing. It's well. The Lord will accelerate everything. That devil is a liar. Hmm? Thank you, Jesus. Father, I use my brother as a point of contact to all of these people. Right now, every devil of darkness that parades itself as moving objects in their body, I command you now, in the name of Jesus Christ, off you go, this moment, right now, in the name of Jesus, set God's people free. I command that movement stops in the mighty name of Jesus. By the power of the Holy Ghost, the movement stops you will never have it again because your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. It belongs to the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. God bless you. Please go back to your seat very quickly. I'm seeing a woman. I'm seeing a woman having a terminal disease. This is what the Lord is showing me. I'm seeing a woman having a terminal disease. I believe is the mother of somebody here. Um where where is she she's at home you stood in for her you believe jesus will heal her she will be healed in jesus name can i use you as a point of contact lift your hands something's moving Changing Seeing his glory Feels like heaven on earth Something's moving Something's changing Seeing his glory Feels like heaven on earth What's mama coming out for? Who brought her? What do you understand by terminal disease? Eh? That devil is a liar. What what happens to you exactly? It's my head, and since that time, all can you hear her? Sound help us. Huh? I have an attack in the night. They attack me in, the, in my head. Since that time, all over my body, I have. Uh, I used to be sick all the time. How long has this been? It's twenty. Since 1988. 1988. That's how wicked Satan can be. Some of you were not born when the devil has been oppressing you. He's an old man. Satan is not young. That old serpent story is a very old story. Praise the Lord. The Bible called him a murderer. Who did he murder? Hallelujah. Mommy. Look at me. What could you not do before? What can you not do now? Sometimes ah. that thing hook me. Like four to five to six months, I can't get up and do anything. So since last year, throughout since November last year, till July this year, I am not be feeling fine. I sick really. If fine. you're healed now, will you know? Yes. Sir. Okay. What your miracle happened to you right now? watch it happen. Don't close your eyes. Open your eyes so that you enjoy the miracle as it happens. Praise the Lord. Mm. Thank you, Jesus. God isn't done with her yet. Heal her mother. Mommy, hold my hands. Say after me, Jesus, Jesus, I believe in you. I believe in you. Thank you for healing me. For healing me. Father, thank you. Mm -hmm. Let your power set mommy free. Now, that wicked spirit that oppresses her, go. Your time is up. You are a spirit. And tonight you bow. The life of God is entering your body, mommy. That's what you're feeling. What do you feel happening to you now? Something is leaving you. Yes. Huh? Yes, my body. All my body is suffering. Is what? 
All my body is shivering. Right it's shivering. Your whole, that's the power of God. Is the anointing of the Holy Ghost. I set her free right now, Lord. Let the chains be broken now. Every power go from 1988 till now. The Lord rebuke you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Right now, Mama, look at me. Um, it's not good to ask you how old you are, but let's do something, all right? Something that can make you tired and let's see what happens. How do you feel in your body? Go ahead. Jump. Do what you couldn't do. <laughs> Would you do this before? How do you feel in your body right now? I'm feeling okay. I'm feeling okay right now. Give Jesus a praise. Do what you couldn't do, Mama. Put a song for Mama to dance. Look at it. Look at how she came. Come on now, worship team. Mama, you are going to dance to the shame of the devil. Look at, can you see her face now? Look at the woman that just came. A few minutes right now. Mama, dance. Come on, help Mama encourage her. Look at Mama dancing. God bless you, Mama. You are healed. Go back healed and enjoy yourself. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ear problem. There's someone you came here with ear problem. You came here with ear problem. I'm seeing someone with ear problem. What, what was the issue? Oh, we have to save time. We have to save time. Have ear problem. You don't hear very well with this. Yes, and sometimes like water. Which one do you hear well with? This one. Okay, close that one. Close both of them. Just look at me. Be open now. You sense fire moving along that ear. That's the power of God. Let it be open right now. I'm feeling what you're feeling. That's why I know that that's what is happening to you. The power of God is carrying out his surgery on that ear. Look at, look at. Can you see the power of God? Look at, look at what is happening. You see what is happening on that ear? Look at what is happening on that ear. Look at what is, is opening. Look at what is happening on that ear. That's the ear that is not working well. That's the power of God setting her free. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Look at, look at this. This is the, I'm not doing anything at all. I'm not doing anything. For those who don't believe these things, you know this lady. Look at, look at what is happening. Thank you, Jesus. Let her be free. Perfect freedom. Don't worry. Just let her. God is walking. 17 seconds and you are healed. Come. Exactly. Close that ear. Jesus. Jesus. Mighty God. Mighty God. Alpha. Omega. Jesus. Beginning. Come on, give Jesus a big, 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 big shout of praise. You are perfected forever in the name of Jesus Christ. your hands on all the ones that have a problem <sighs> mama is your eyes ah, mama okay no problem no problem she please just just leave her you people don't know what she has gone through your eyes what's wrong with you sometimes I, well, okay, I can't see between the three from my front like what can you not okay what can you see now I'm seeing between, but I didn't see you are not seeing this thing very well now. Uh, uh, 
Okay, I'll pray for you. <laughs> she had faith. She said, ah, if they won't call my case, let me call it by myself. Let's hurry up. Hallelujah. How long has it been? For more than seven years. More than seven years. I can't hear with this ear. Ah, that devil is a liar. Huh? Put your hands on both of your ears. You too. What's your own? My mom says when I was five, water just keeps on coming out. And water comes, comes out. Yes. That devil is a liar. Huh? Your ear is not a river. The Bible says out of your belly, not your ear. So that's anti scriptural. Put your hands there right now. Put your hands, both of your ears. Please, I want you to expect the power of God to touch you. Lord, we give you the glory in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. That devil of deafness, I curse you right now by the power of the Holy Spirit. I bring you life. I bring you the power of the kingdom that we represent and that wicked spirit. You see the same thing happening to her? Are you seeing the same thing? This is not fake. Are you seeing the same thing now? Two different people, same operation of the spirit. Look at, look at it. See her face, she's even surprised seeing her hand shaking. Thank you, Jesus. Let there be perfection in this year. Yeah, I speak to you. Be open. Just take your hand away. You'll see the power of God going through your body. Which one couldn't you hear me? Close the one you can hear me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus. Come on, give Jesus a big clap. She doesn't hear at all. At all with that ear. In the mighty name of Jesus. How about you? Which of the ears? Close the one that is good. Moses, Joshua, Ruth, Jesus, I'm free. Come on, give Jesus a big, 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 big clap of praise. My sister, it goes forever. Do you believe this? You're happy about what God has done. It has gone forever. Mama, let's attend to you now. You came out because you believe in Jesus. I'm going to pray for your eyes and your eyes will be open. Jesus, Son of God, I believe in you. Perfect, Mama's eye, oh God. Cataract, cataract, that's what is wrong with you. Cataract, that's the name of the sickness. For your power and for your glory. For your power and for your glory. see now is there any improvement is there any improvement yes what can you see hold on hold on please what can you see now i see them you are seeing them now could you see them very well before you could not see them at all yes try to tell me the color of the tie that man is wearing just this tie yes this yes red what of what they are wearing? Blue. You couldn't see them before. Blue. Come on, give God praise. Give God praise. Give God praise. 
give God praise. Mama, look at that time. What is the time? Can you see? Eight, nine. No, it's, it's not nine yet. Don't worry, just approximate. Her. How can I help this woman? See now? Hope I'm doing the right thing. How many people are standing there? Yeah. How many gentlemen are standing? Two. 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 What color of suit is the other one wearing? The dark one. The black one. Right? Yes. This one, like color, like a or something. But the other one is what color? Black. Black. Come on, give God praise. The Lord perfects your eyes, Mama, in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, it's your mother. You are using glasses. Where are they? Okay. What can you not see now? Let's let's just hurry up. What's what's it for you? You are using glasses too, and you're tired. Okay. So. Okay. So we're going to pray for you. Please, let's. You don't know how terrible the sickness is until. Uh, it comes on you, but it won't come on you. We have a few minutes, guys, and we're done. We have to hurry up. Um, there's, a, there's a part of a prophecy where I speak over your life. Can we begin to collect the prayer requests so that we kill two birds with one stone? Please, your prayer request very quickly. If you do not have a prayer request, please write. It's not a religious ritual at all. God gave us an instruction. The Bible says how that Hezekiah went to the temple and dropped the threat before the Lord and said, Lord, behold, your threatenings. So I'll pray for you. What are you all here for? Eye problem. My dad. My your dad has eye problem. My grandmother has eye Your dad too has eye problem. My grandmother. My grandmother. Your grandmother. Yes. Ah, how old is she? I don't know. No, 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 but the Bible talks about Joshua who was old. Okay, hold your hands together. Please, let's save time. You can begin to submit your request, please. Inside and outside, hold your hands. No, no, just these two. Just two of you, just two of you. Let me pray for you. Jesus, heal their parents, heal all the people who are sick right now. Let the power of God cause healing and perfection in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. How about you? Eye problem? Lay your hands on your eyes. You too, lay your hands. You too, lay your hands, all of you. All of you with high problem. Ah, you play drums and you're blind. Eh? Oh, your mom. Okay. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. Okay. Now we're having more people just coming to say I'm tired. What do we do now? All right, eye problem. Both out here and wherever you are. Um, okay. Just lay your hands on your eyes and I'll pray for you. Please, we are not playing games. Don't think we are faking it. We are very, very serious. Very serious. Very serious. Thank you, Jesus. Please write your requests. Write your request. This is December. Whatever it is that you are trusting God to do for you. Ha! The power of God is moving already. It's touching more than the eyes. It's not just eyes. Satan, go! Go! Right now. Let that eye thing live by the power of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus Christ. I touch your eyes. Be healed. Be healed. Be healed. Be healed. Be healed. Be healed. In the name of Jesus. Be healed. Please check yourselves. You can go back to your seats and check yourselves. Check yourselves. God bless you. Just at your eyes. As young as you are, lay your hands. Perfection, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. Perfection for Gladys. Please, as you go back, check yourself. Hallelujah. Let's have the requests. There's someone that was diagnosed of a heart problem. You have a heart problem. I must attend to you. Heart problem. Please, heart problem. 
I want to pray for you now. This thing is eating you up. It's a heart problem. It's causing weakness in your body. You can't even move far. You begin to... Who is the person? You are the one with a heart problem. What did they say is wrong? You are not the only one. The person I'm seeing is very lean. This thing is eating you. Blood is not pumping well in your body. And it's causing weakness of your body. What's wrong? I... Just go straight to the point. What is what? What did they say? What did I they was say? told my heart was too large for too much stress. Your heart is too large for too much stress. For what? Too much stress. What does that mean? Doctors, doctors. Okay. Your heart is too large for too much stress. Oh, from too much stress. Ah, stress. Footballer, we are going to pray for you here. You are going abroad. You are going abroad. He will come back and testify. I saw a plane just pass over his head. You are going abroad. He's a footballer. He's going to be a very professional footballer. Father, empower his feet. Bless him. Look at me. Don't forget about God. Hmm? Money can change people and money can destroy. Don't forget about God. You are an ambassador. He's sending you there. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Bless you. Heart problem? Ah. What did I pray for now? Okay. Lay your hands on your chest. Let me pray for you. Thank you, Jesus. Go! Right now. Be healed from the heart problem. Brother, look at me. Lay your heart on your chest to return back to its normal size right now. Huh? There is no reason for you to be stressed. Huh? If you die today, the world will still continue. Please don't let the devil cheat you. There is no reason. The Bible says, cast your cares. This world has too much worries that can kill you if you let it happen. Thank you, Jesus. Be healed now. Heart, return to your normal position. What did they say is wrong with you? It's mad. Palpitation. They call it hypothesis. Hypertrophic uh, myocardia or something. Hypertrophic myocardia. I don't. Uh, what does it do? What does it do to you? It doesn't That's pump. Uh, my heart doesn't. Yes, pump the Lord showed me. It's not pumping blood in your body, so and it makes you weak. Huh? I bring out foam, foam from my mouth. You bring out foam sometimes. See. I need to pray for you. I'm seeing a wound inside you. Huh? You feel pain around your chest. This is a wound. Huh? And the wound is rotting. We need to pray for you. This is what is happening. Whatever the name is, I don't want to know. All I know is that this is the devil. Machines cannot detect spirits. Hallelujah. Lay your hands. My brother, look at me. Look at me. If this meeting is just for only you, I want you to be healed. Huh? You believe it? How long has this been? Two months now. Two months. They diagnose you with this. Yeah. Lay your hands. Is that what is responsible for your weight loss? Huh? Yeah. You started losing weight. Yes, sir. Jesus. This is why you put this meeting. Whatever your name is, leave this body now. Heart be restored. You feel the fire of God moving around your chest. That's God. I command that wound to close now. Creatively close up this moment. God is doing a work. I command your weight to return. In the name of Jesus Christ. You will testify. You return here with your testimony. About your heart problem? I feel pain. You feel pain? When you go to it. I can. You feel pain when you wake up in the morning. If you lie down on this side of the chest, it pains you. It's not heart problem. No. Listen now. Let me talk to you. Huh? Do you know what the issue is? What did the doctors tell you? Have you gone to the hospital? You have not even gone. I want to tell you the problem. It's not heart problem. Huh? I'm seeing a name, bronchitis. This is not heart problem. Huh? Hold your hand. This is as a result of cold. And it's, it's, it's affecting you. Huh? You think it's heart because it's at that point. It's not heart. Just lay your hand. You'll be healed. Jesus. Go! Be healed right now.
had what? Hot, hot. Vagina. That's what that's, that's the, what it is. your heart. Yes. It's affecting your heart. When I can I see you. You are even looking weak as you're standing right now. You believe Jesus will heal you? Say after me, Jesus. Jesus. I thank you for the healing. Lord, let your power flow. This lady affect her now. Let her go by a wicked spirit. Release her right now by the power of the Holy Spirit. Something is happening to you. Something is lifting from your chest. See, see the healing. This is this is a spirit leaving her literally. Release her right now by the power of the Holy Spirit. I change that medical condition. I plead the blood, the mercy of Jesus breaks every legal access. Mm. I hear the chains falling. With a shout, you will be free by the power of the Holy Ghost. Let her go. With a shout, you will be free. Lay your hands on her chest, my dear. With a shout, you will be free. With a shout, you will be free. Thank you, Jesus. With a shout, you will be free. Perfect her, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. We are going to pray on these requests. Hallelujah. Before we do that, come. Oh, he's gone. He's gone with his wife. Ah, okay, they have to go and rest. Praise the Lord. I wanted us to pray for them. We are going to pray on these requests right now. Please rise up on your feet, everybody. Sass. Please, can we just come as many men of God that can agree? Please. I believe in the corporate anointing. I believe in the grace of God. Please, I'd like you to pray. Stretch your hands and begin to pray in tongues. Stretch your hands and pray in tongues. Shakata ba 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 ba. Rakata ba kata prakata kata bela de bosh. Rakata prakata koko sopro toko toba la da ba kata ba kata. Come on, pray, pray. Father, we thank you. Sakata kata prakata bela da 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 bosh. Lete krete kasa topo koto prakata bela da ba. Ambra taka pros. Perfection, O oh God. Reto soto proto koto pakate, ente te preto soto no koto prakate. Reto so proto so prega de banana ramos, maka prakata banana maka de prega de banana ramos. Entri so so poko to prega de banana ramos. Father, let there be miracles, testimonies. We change this prayer request. Reto soto no koto. May they become testimonies in the name of Jesus. May they become testimonies. May they become testimonies. May they become testimonies. Change impossible situations in the name of Jesus. Change impossible situations by the power of the Holy Ghost. Has to take a lebre his guitar. Mantu shake a brehe kupa hatalia. Jibra has to take a brehe guitar. Lord, I pray. Let your word in Job 16 18 be established. O art, do not cover our blood. Let our cries not find a resting place. Let every cry in the form of prayer petition not find a resting place. Until heaven hears and come true. In the name of Yeshua Amashir. We bind the powers of hell. We release. We receive answers. Tonight. By your spirit. In the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. In the name of Jesus. 
Hallelujah. Let's give Jesus praise. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now I want to pray and speak over your life. Healing miracle is just one of the many reasons. There are very few people. The fraction of those who are really sick are very few compared to those who are coming trusting God for other areas finance breakthrough marriage hallelujah I want to pray and break the power of marital delay right now please lift your hands thank you Jesus the power of marital delay It is the will of God for you to get married. Father, I pray. Some of you, it will be for you and your family members. That power of darkness over marriages. Right now at the count of three, I command the power. Because I'm seeing a lot of families tied down. Wherever you are, you're standing in for yourself and your family members. In the mighty name of Jesus at the count of three let the power of God move in this place and outside and break men free to enter their marital destinies no matter how long it is you're ready now I want you to shout that name at the count of three one two three break 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 Break, break every spell of marital delay. I break it now in the name of Jesus. Break, 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 break. Go, 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 go. Break, break in the mighty name of Jesus. Break every yoke of marital delay. Break. Break, break, break. We release supernatural marriages. Go to Pariata, Seketeka, Sekele Kotobakata Labakaya. Break every curse, every yoke. We apply the blood by the mystery of the blood. Yet one last plague shall I bring upon Pharaoh and upon Egypt after that he will let you go we release you into your marital destinies in the name of jesus in the name of jesus hallelujah oh yeah they are around okay please let them come they can come we want to pray for them those of you trusting God for jobs, please lift your hands. I want you to believe this. While we will pray for them shortly, but let's pray for jobs. Lift your hands. I'm going to just shout Jesus once. And the power of God will locate people. There will be mighty testimonies. Between now and the next miracle service, Kadimala Kariyasha. Lift your hands. Promotion comes neither from the east nor the west. I don't care who you know or who you don't know. We are ambassadors and we legislate on behalf of the parliament of heaven. It is within our power to bind and lose. He said, For I am a man under authority, and I say unto one, Go and he goeth. Right now, in the mighty name of Jesus. I'm going to shout the name right now. Jesus! Let there be jobs. Whatever power is holding people down from jobs. In the name of Jesus, by the favor of God, I command miracle jobs in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Now, stretch your hands towards Ejimi. We're still praying. Ejimi and hope. 
that Jimmy was one of our ministers here. Hope was the head of department one time of the welfare. It's good to serve the Lord. When you serve the Lord, he will bless you. That's what the Bible says. Stretch your hands. Tomorrow there will be a wedding right here. Please, you are invited. It's compulsory for the whole Koinonia family. We must come around and back them and rejoice. The time is 10 on the dot. The reception is at Blue Roof. Hallelujah. Stretch your hands. Father, bless them. Bless them. Bless them. We bless you with the blessings of the heavens. We bless you with the blessings of the house. We bless you with the blessings of fruitfulness. May you find favor with God. May you find favor with men. Your home is built upon love. Your home is built upon wisdom. Your home is built upon understanding and knowledge. In the name of Jesus Christ, you will raise godly children who you will train in the fear of the Lord and your seed shall be mighty upon the earth. The generation of the righteous will be blessed. Wealth and riches will be in your house. In the name of Jesus Christ, we bless you for serving the body of Christ. We bless you for serving this house. May the Lord honor you. May the Lord honor you. May your harvest come speedily. We connect you with a hundredfold anointing. May you see it speedily. We command men to help you. We command men to bless you. And Uzziah prospered because he was marvelously helped. May you get the help of God in your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Please stand up, sir. Thank you. Let me give you a big hug. It's good to be married. All your cake was not for nothing. Hallelujah. God bless you. Thank you. So tomorrow we are here. Hallelujah. Now lift your hands. I want to prophesy. Thank you, Jesus. Please believe it. For me, this is the best part of the miracle service because this is where we allow the creative power that is in the word of God to find expression. Inside and outside, please, please. Beautiful you are, wonderful you've been. You are glorious. Faithful in all your ways, my help and my reward. You are glorious, my God. Beautiful you are, wonderful you are. You are glorious, you are glorious. your hands i command every door that has been closed over your destiny i prophesy to it right now be open in the name of jesus be open in the name of jesus be open in the name of jesus because thou has lovest righteousness and hated wickedness therefore god even thy god and anointed you with an oil of gladness above your fellows i prophesy upon your life rise and be distinguished in the name of jesus rise and be distinguished in the name of jesus hallelujah i command every dead prayer life in this place every dead prayer altar in this place come alive now in the name of jesus Come alive now in the name of Jesus. Come alive now. Come alive now in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. The Bible says, They got not the land in possession by their own sword, neither did their hand help them. But because you loved them and you showed favor towards them. I want to pray in the name of Jesus right where you are standing. May the favor of God mantle you in the name of Jesus. Carry the favor of God in the name of Jesus. Manifest the favor of God in the name of Jesus.
Hallelujah. The Bible says, And the king sent for Joseph, and they brought him out of his dungeon. I pray, in the name of Jesus, I command wine pressers, I command bakers, all those who will recommend you to your place of honor, I call them into your life in the name of Jesus. I call them into your life in the name of Jesus. And David said, Is there any man of the house of Saul left that I may show him kindness? And the Bible says they brought a cripple called Mephibosheth. I pray, no matter what your limitations are, may God send people who will recommend you and honor you. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thou shalt not be afraid of the arrow that flyeth by day, nor the noisome pestilence. It says they shall bear thee up on their wings, so that you will not dash your feet against a stone. It says a thousand shall fall by your side, and ten thousand by your right side. But none shall harm you, with your eyes shall you watch and see the reward of the wicked. I command that you are preserved right now. You have no covenant with death. You are preserved in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. The Bible says, And thou shalt hear a voice from behind saying, This is the way. Walk ye in it, and you will find rest for your souls. I command that that direction you need for the next level of your life, for the next level of your career, in the mighty name of Jesus, may you hear the voice of the Spirit. May it be clear unto you. May it be clear unto you. I open ears and I open eyes to hear and see and comprehend that which the Holy Ghost wants for you. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Bible says, the queen of Sheba came and she brought gifts of gold and different kinds of gifts to come and hear the wisdom of Solomon. And the Bible says when she heard the wisdom of Solomon, she said that she did not even hear a half. I pray that God will give you a dimension of wisdom that will compel kings to come and hear the wisdom of the Spirit in your life. Receive that dimension of wisdom in the name of Jesus. The Bible says, does any man lack wisdom? Let him ask of God who giveth unto men liberally. Let that dimension of wisdom come upon you. In the name of Jesus Christ. It says, by me kings reign and princes decree justice. I command that wisdom begins to function in your life from today. I pray that any plague of death over your life. He said, let there be a mark of the blood upon the lintel. And that when the angel of death comes, when he sees the blood, he will pass by. I declare that there is a mark of the blood that marks you as touch not. Even as you move around during this Yuletide season, I command death is far from your life in the name of Jesus Christ. For God has not given you the spirit of fear, but of love, of power, and of a sound mind. Whatever puts fear in your life, I want you to know that your God is mighty and able. And let that spirit of fear leave you now in the name of Jesus. Now in the name of Jesus. I declare, whatever your family members have been praying and trusting God for, before this year runs out, in the mighty name of Jesus. Listen, brothers and sisters, it does not take time. It only takes God. It doesn't take time. The prophet said, by this time tomorrow, he was not revealing, he was creating. He wasn't revealing what will happen tomorrow anyway. The prophetic word created that scenario. In the name of Jesus, everything that is missing, that your loved ones are trusting God for, by the creative power of God's word, we create breakthroughs in the name of Jesus.
every cause of lack and poverty and financial hardship in this place in the mighty name of jesus christ i decree and declare lord your people are givers your people are addicted to advancing the kingdom therefore i curse the spirit of poverty in the name of jesus christ i curse the spirit of poverty in the name of jesus christ For God give it unto a man that is good in his sight, wisdom, and blessings, and peace. But to the unbeliever, he gives to heap and to travail, that he will bring to him that fears God. May that be your testimony in the name of Jesus Christ. May that be your testimony in the name of Jesus. I declare that your business is blessed. I declare that the works of your hands are blessed. I declare that your ministry is blessed. I declare that your family is blessed. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ be distinguished and be blessed you will go back home as a savior go and heal the sick go and cast out devils go and raise the dead go and communicate the mysteries of the kingdom I declare that the secrets of the spirit are given unto you and these secrets will grant you power with God and power with men in the name of Jesus Christ the Bible says, and immediately his fame went abroad. The Bible says, when he entered the city, it was noised. It didn't tell us those who publicized it. I pray that all those who need to take word about that which God has put in your life that can bless men, I compel them to noise it abroad. In the name of Jesus Christ, may it be known that you are a deliverer. May it be known that you are a man and a woman of wisdom may it be known that you can solve problems all those who have been designed to honor the gift of god in your life to recognize to honor it i pray that god will bring them your way in the name of jesus christ thank you jesus and i pray that there be a hunger for the things of the spirit I plant a hunger in your spirit a dimension of hunger for the word hunger for the presence of God beyond your imagination in the name of Jesus Christ everything that was lost shall be returned unto you everything that was stolen shall be restored unto you I prophesy everything that was lost shall be returned unto you everything that was stolen shall be restored unto you one more time i prophesy everything that was lost shall be returned unto you everything that was stolen shall be returned i pray that before this year runs out may my god give you a sevenfold restoration you can choose not to believe it you will not go to hell but i prophesy again to you that before this year runs out may my god give you a sevenfold restoration in the name of jesus christ doors of opportunities be open doors of grace i command breakthrough into your life in the name of jesus every captivity in your life i prophesy surely there is an end and i call tonight the end of it in the name of the lord jesus in the name of the lord jesus hallelujah the bible says you shall call on one person and a nation will respond to you i declare that even those who do not like you will accomplish the purposes of god in your life i compel cyrus's by the power of the spirit to bless you in the name of jesus hallelujah and every request that you dropped here from the depths of your heart we stand in agreement 
in the name that is above all names and we turn that prayer request to a testimony now we turn that prayer request to a testimony now hallelujah thank you jesus christ keep standing i want to give an opportunity to those who have never made jesus lord of their lives please inside and outside please let's have minimal movement all those who have never made a decision for jesus christ the bible says come unto me all ye that are weary and heavy and heavy laden and i will give you rest it says for my yoke is easy and my burden is light hallelujah inside and outside some of you have given your heart to the lord please let's keep standing if you can the elderly ones can remain seated but please the young people can we stand hallelujah in honor of this great miracle yes it's a big miracle now if you've never made a decision for jesus christ especially many of you outside or you have given your heart to the Lord, but you found yourself derailing. This is an opportunity. You have seen the hand of God. But all of this is pointing you to the fact that God is love. And he wants to establish a vital relationship with you. Right now, as I count one to five, I want you to leave your seat. Forget about anyone you came here with and say, Jesus, I'm coming to you. Let's start all over. Hallelujah begin to appreciate them don't wait for anybody you are the first person one god bless you keep coming god bless you inside and outside please keep coming don't sit back there inside and outside no matter how far we're waiting for you just hurry up and come god bless you two god bless you keep coming but adventure you've been born again and you're saying lord I want to rededicate my life and make a genuine decision for Jesus Christ. Three, please keep coming. Don't let anybody stop you. Whether you are a pastor, whether you are a bishop, keep coming. God bless you. God bless you. Keep coming. God bless you. This is what it's all about. Keep coming. Keep coming. It's all about four coming there's one last count no matter how far you are outside you can keep coming it's all about you. hallelujah praise the lord thank you so much i salute you brothers and sisters for coming we do not take it for granted thank you for the boldness i want you to make a decision for jesus christ you don't get born again just because you recited salvation prayer but this is just to guide you and to help you. Lift up your right hand and say this after me from the depth of your heart. It's not a special number, mean it from your heart. Say after me, Lord Jesus, I love you and I believe in you. I believe you died for me. And tonight, I make Jesus Lord of my life. Forgive me my sins. Cleanse me from every unrighteousness. I declare that I'm saved. The Spirit of God lives in me. My name is in the book of life. From today, I have a relationship with Jesus. I denounce sin and Satan. And I make a decision to live for Jesus all the days of my life. In Jesus' name. Now let me pray for you father thank you the bible says as many who will come to him he will in no wise cast away you have brought these ones by the power of your spirit preserve them let the same grace that brought them out preserve them use them for your glory empower them may they be mighty men and women in the spirit in the name of jesus christ i pray amen now hold on thank you for making this great decision praise the lord I want you to follow the ushers. We'll be having a meeting with you. We'll communicate to you tomorrow by 5 at the chapel. Hallelujah. There will be people there to come and pray with you. Get you filled with the Holy Spirit. Teach you a few things. And um, please try to make it. You'll receive a text to this effect. But just make sure that you are available. And we love you. God bless you. Welcome to the biggest kingdom. The family of God. Just follow the ushers. Follow the lady waving her hands. Bless you. Bless you. Follow the lady waving her hands.
Hallelujah. Now, all those worshiping with us for the first time, if this is your first time worshiping with us here at Koinonia, inside and outside, no matter how far you are, we have a prayer and a blessing for you. I want you to leave your seat and come out gloriously. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you for coming. Thank you, Daddy. Thank you, Mommy. Thank you for coming. God bless you. Please keep coming. If there's someone seated close to you who is not coming, tell him, come. There is a blessing for you. Thank you. Thank you for coming. Thank you for coming. Those outside, God bless you. Keep coming. We want to pray and prophesy and appreciate and celebrate you. Thank you. Thank you. The Lord brought you by the power of his spirit. He brought you to change you. He brought you to build you. You will never be the same. Never, never be the same. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We're glad to have you here. This is Koinonia. Praise the Lord. A meeting put together by Eternity Network International. And this happens to be our last service for the year. We're happy having you around. Praise the Lord. We'll be resuming next year on the 10th. 10th will be our, our next service. And we'd like to see you again and again. We have a prayer and a blessing for you prayer works here we are men of faith and of the power of the spirit if we bless you believe me you are blessed hallelujah saints of god stretch your hands and prophesy speak into their lives you are anointed you are blessed so go ahead and bless them prophesy we release words of blessings you are preserved we plant a hunger for spirit. hallelujah give jesus a big shout of praise hallelujah god bless you be seated Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. It's good to be back. I missed Koinonia last week. I heard that Pastor Jake spat fire in this place. Come on, celebrate him. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Tonight we have a number of people in this place. Hallelujah. I like to appreciate Ibiku's parents, daddy and mommy. Please celebrate them. Thank you so much, sir. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. I expect every minister to stand up by the time I make this. You understand? Hallelujah. I like us to appreciate mommy and Mary. Please. Come on, every minister. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I'd like to announce to you that my mom is in the house tonight. Oh. Hallelujah. 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 Mommy, please, can you come? Come on, celebrate my mother. Hallelujah. She's blessing you, I tell you. She's blessing you, I tell you. If you open up your heart, you will receive something. Look at my life. Look at my life. My mother is blessing you. She's operating in the prophetic. Just lift your hands and receive. You may not know what is happening to you. My mother is prophesying and speaking over your life. Each and every one of you. Father, I thank you. I bless your name. Father, you have... Oh, Lord, I don't know what to say, but to give you glory. I thank you, Father, because I never knew I would see this day. But because of your grace and your mercy. Father, thank you. I lift your name above all other names. There is no any other name that can be compared to you. Father, I worship you. I give you glory. I worship you in the beauty of your holiness. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. May your name be glorified. May your name be honored. Father, thank you. I worship you. 
in Jesus name thank you that's my mother brother there are levels in the spirit I tell you there are some things that age can bring hallelujah after the meeting please sit down Hallelujah. Ephesians. Hallelujah. After the meeting, we'll give opportunity for her just to pray and lay hands on as many people. Hallelujah. As many people. I tell you this, she's not just my mother, she's a woman of God. My mother carries an unction I still do not understand. Hallelujah. Because while her missionary father was laboring in the spirit, it was transfer of grace. If there can be generational curses, there can be generational blessings. Are you listening to me? Ephesians. How far did we go last week, please? Hallelujah. Did we cover chapter 3, chapter 4? Character, the work of a believer. Hallelujah. Okay. So we talked on walking. Ephesians, uh, remember, is divided into three. There is the position, uh, the first face of Ephesians begins to give you an understanding of who you are on account of what Christ has done. Hallelujah. On account of what the Lord Jesus Christ has done. Sorry, I forgot to appreciate Prof. I know we don't do this. Please, I'd like us to appreciate Prof. Our Father, great blessing. Let's keep my mind. Thank you, sir. Such a humble, humble, humble Man of God. Hallelujah. So the book of Ephesians, the first three chapters really, begins to talk to us about what we have become on account of what Christ has done for us. Hallelujah. And I love the way the worship team is ministered. He said, he's seated in heavenly places. Say, I'm seated in heavenly places. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. And then from chapter 4, verse 17, chapter 4, verse 17, down to um, chapter 6, verse 9. From chapter 4, verse 17 to chapter 6, verse 9, talks of what we call walking, the walk of a believer. How that you ought to live in this system on account of what you have become in Christ. Hallelujah. And so here we are, the Bible teaches us that we have been taken from the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of God's dear son. That we have been lifted. Hallelujah. Are you following me now? And then the Bible tells us how we ought to walk as Christians. This is where the place of character development, the place of living out the fullness of Christ, the Christ life, the gift, the, 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 the fruit of the spirit, and so on and so forth so this is all covered there tells you how that you need to walk circumspectly tells you how that you need to show a portrait of a true christian and let me tell you something no matter how anointed you are if you lack character you will not last in the kingdom hallelujah are you listening to me the anointing of the spirit takes you high up there but it is character that retains you praise the lord and so i will not be talking so much about that since it has been covered Hallelujah. Chapter 6 from verse 10. We'll take it from there today. Just put your finger there and then let's go to Hebrews 2. Just to establish. I'll be very brief tonight because we need to pray for our final year students. Hebrews 2. 
Hebrews 2. If you're there, say amen. amen. All right, let me start from verse 1. Therefore, we ought to give the more earnest heed to the things, to the things which we have heard, lest at any time we should let them sleep. Hallelujah. The Bible is saying, give earnest heed to these things. Why? Because they are capable of sleeping. Verse 2. For if the word spoken by angels was steadfast, and every transgression and disobedience received a just recompense of reward. Verse 3. How shall we escape if we neglect so great salvation, which at first began to be spoken by the Lord and was confirmed unto us by them that heard him? Verse 4. God also bearing them witness both with signs and wonders and with diverse miracles and gifts of the holy spirit according to his own will verse 5 this is where i want you to concentrate now for unto the angels had he not put in subjection the world to come of which we speak listen to me the bible says god did not give any angel authority over his works and i hope you realize that satan listen to me please follow me tonight i hope you realize that satan was one of the fallen angels so the bible says no angel whether fallen or still faithful was ever at any time by god given authority this is the first revelation to the fact that satan is an illegal occupant in the earth number one number two satan possesses no legitimate authority over the believer the bible says to none of the angels did god ever say i have put all this in subjection remember genesis 1 26 and elohim said let us make man in our own image and let them have what dominion over the fish of the sea the birds of the air everything that creepeth and so he said for unto the angels had he not put in subjection the world to come hallelujah let's read on but one in a certain place this is speaking of psalm 8 david now one in a certain place testified saying what is man that thou art mindful of him this was the revelation that was given to the psalmist or the son of man that thou visitest him this is talking about listen it says verse verse 7 can we read together just look at the projector one to read thou hast made him a little lower than the angels stop the word angel there was an error in the translation it's not the word angels it's the word god the word elohim thou hast made him a little lower than elohim all right thou crownest him with glory and honor and this set him over what the works of your hands this is talking about man the next verse please thou has put how many things how many things thou has put all things in subjection under his feet he said for in that he put all in subjection under his feet he left how many things he left how many things you must get this revelation tonight he left nothing that is not put under him hold on now this is paul is giving us a revelation here He's saying that the Lord, when he created man, are you following me now? That to none of the angels did he give authority. So according to God's organogram, after the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, the next in the spiritual hierarchy is who? Man. And then the angels. Are you listening to me now? And then after angels, we have spirit beings. Because everything in the realm of the spirit is more superior to anything in this realm. And then it ends with the world of unbelievers. And the Bible says to none, but to man, this man, Adam. Adam is not the name of Adam. Adam means man that was created. To this class of man that he created, he put how many things? All things. Let me tell you what all things mean. From the second heavens, there are three heavens. The Bible says the heaven of heavens belong to the Lord hallelujah the first heaven talks of your atmosphere the second heaven talks of the realm of the spirit are you following me now the bible talks of spiritual wickedness that operate in heavenly places the second heavens and then the third heaven and the bible calls it the heaven of heavens is where the throne of god is the heaven is your throne and the earth is your footstool so the bible tells us that from the second heavens right unto hell 
Are you listening to me? Authority was given unto man. So Joshua can stand and look at the sun and say, Thou sun, stand still. Are you listening to me? Moses can look at the waters and tell it to divide. He says, can, can we have that again, please? I want you to have a revelation. He said, for thou hast put all things, inanimate and, and animate things, all things under his feet. And so the height, the apex of God's creation is man. Are you listening to me? Are you following me now? all things this is the reason why man has the ability to tame an elephant this is the ability why man can build bridges inside water are you following me now this is why man can build the ability to conquer matter the ability to conquer nature he says he put all things in subjection to man hallelujah that's the reason why the tsunamis and all the natural disasters are an aberration because they are voices that are speaking that what the Lord has said over man is not valid. Are you listening to me? He has put all things in subjection under his feet. It says for in that he put all things under his feet, he left nothing. He left nothing. That means as a Christian, you are absolutely in control of your circumstances and environments. Are you listening to me? Now, when you did not know Christ, everything was allowed to happen. We came from different families. Are you following me now? With all kinds of things. But when you come into this new life, this is what Paul is trying to explain to us. That as far as God is concerned, he has brought you to an experiential position where all things ought to be under your feet all things all things prosperity health blessings advancement all things but there is a mystery let's continue can we finish up that verse from both one to read come on let's read together one to read okay hold on hold on what is paul saying why is paul trying to confuse us here paul is telling us that all things have already are you listening to me the word h-a-s-t is past tense am i correct english students meaning it has already happened as far as god is concerned but paul is saying from our perspective he never said but god does not see he said but we but we now we do not see all things yet under him so what is the problem Paul is showing us that there is a problem here. God put creation under man. Yet when you look around, you do not see man walking in this dominion. He said, we do not yet see all things. Next verse. Hallelujah. But we see Jesus. But we see Jesus. Who was made a little lower than angels. Now, a prototype. The Bible says man was made a little lower than who? Elohim. Now he now says we also see Jesus. Just like man, a portrait, a foreshadow of what he's designing for man. A little lower than angels. Not because the word angels there is the word Elohim. Are you following me now? Philippians chapter 2 from verse 5. Remember, the Bible says, Let this man be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus, who although being in equality with God, did not consider it a thing to be grasped, but he what? Lowered himself. This is what Paul is explaining here. Alright? So you can note there and write Ephesians I mean, uh, Philippians chapter 2 from verse 5 to 11. It says, for the suffering of death. He said, now he is crowned with what? Glory and honor that he by the grace of God should taste death. The word death there is not just cessation from living. Are you following me now? The word death there is the same word that is used darkness. It's the same word that is used chaos. Are you following me now? He's saying for the suffering of death. So you can replace it. That he by the grace of God should taste sickness, should taste poverty, should taste delay. Are you following me now? Once for every man. So that on account, when did he do this? His substitutionary sacrifice. Are you following me now? Where he became a substitution for man. So everything he went through for man in redemption, we were in him by covenant, fulfilling the legal claims of justice. Do you understand? And so it says... 
for it became him for whom are all things and by whom are all things in bringing many what sons into what glory hold on the bible says the purpose of his death and all that he has done was to translate many sons before jesus christ died he was the only son john 3 16 for god so loved the world that he gave his one and only begotten son but when he died and rose again he stopped becoming the only son he became the firstborn among many brethren because he sowed himself to the earth as a seed and the bible says except a corn of wheat falls to the ground and dies it's a spiritual principle of multiplicity now when he rose he called you sam and said i died to bring you to call many sons into glory hallelujah are you following me now so you can connect this now with first peter chapter 1 verse 3 it says according as his divine power hath given us how many things you now see it all things that pertains unto what am i connecting something for you it says according as his divine power hath given us all things that pertains unto life and godliness there is a but there now it says through the knowledge of him that has called us into glory and virtue verse 4 says wherefore has he given us these exceedingly great and precious promises that by them we might be partakers of his divine nature having escaped the corruption that is in this world through lust so the purpose of jesus's death it's not just to come and take us to heaven alone no if that was it you would have just flown to heaven the moment you died are you listening to me there is a glory that he had man had this glory and it was lost so jesus went and paid the price listen to me because the eternal counsel of god listening to listen to me as far as our church age is concerned the eternal counsel of god is that all things colossians 1 ephesians 1 the eternal counsel of God is that all things be headed up in the Christ. That he truly becomes the head of the church, the body. Are you listening to me? And so the way this will happen is that Christ, Jesus, will submit to the authority of the Father. Are you listening to me? And by the agency of the Spirit, the church, the body of Christ, will come under subjection to Christ. And by authority, we will enforce his dominion until cosmos comes under authority of man at that point christ becomes king of kings and lord of lords then an end will come to our age we will begin another age are you following me now and so his goal was to bring many sons into glory what is glory it's from the hebrew word kabod the greek is doxa it means the the presence the true nature the character, the fullness of all that a man is and all that he represents. So when the Bible says that he is bringing many sons into glory, many sons into his character of, of love, his character of grace, his character of power, his character of prosperity, his character of divine health, his character of wisdom, his character of leadership. Hallelujah. So when you give your life to Christ, it's not just for you to be born again and say, okay, well, yeah. You need to realize that there was an intention in the heart of the Father. When he came to save you, the day Femi came to give his life to Christ and you stood here, listen to me, while the Holy Ghost was convicting you, there was an intention. Your coming out to get born again was only a means to an end, not the end in itself. Are you listening to me? That's why when you get born again, is only the beginning of your journey not the end and so you begin an experiential walk through the ministry of the word and the spirit he begins to train you listen can i tell you something the ultimate purpose of god is to bring you into that realm of glory so he starts teaching you how he behaves he tells you now in the kingdom speak like me you see the basics talk like me he's teaching you talk like me speak like me walk like me soon you find out lord i'm becoming like you he says that's the goal i just started giving you beats talk like me speak like me suddenly you talk and you see that things begin to change 
Learn to love like me. Learn to give like me. The moment you begin to obey these little instructions, the ultimate goal is not just to make you a talkative, it's to make you become a replica of his glory. Are you listening to me? bringing many sons into glory now but watch this this is god's original intention and if satan is an enemy of of the lord and the enemy of the church what do you think his agenda is then to be able to stop are you listening to me to try to stop the reality of the believer coming into this position where you know and understand are you listening to me that God's desire for you is to rise to that position of glory. He said, know ye not that ye are gods and all of you are children of the most high. Psalms 82 from verse 5, he said, they know not, neither do they understand. They grope in darkness and so the earth is out of course. He said, have I not said, ye are gods, and all of you are children of the most high. He said, but you shall die like mere men and fall like one of these princes. Say, I'm not ordinary. Say it, I'm not ordinary. You see, the problem is, many of you just say it because you are doing it in church. Are you listening to me? This is not about bragging. This is not about pride. This is the position that God has brought you by grace. And so you have authority over sickness. You have authority over everything. Are you listening to me? You have authority over the atmosphere. You have authority when you go to your families. You are not an ordinary person. So you cannot, it doesn't matter what your village is and where you come from. You realize that you have been separated. And now the Bible says when we were without Christ, separated from the commonwealth of Israel. But by grace he has called us out of every tribe. When you get born again, it's not the issue of where you are coming from. It's your new life in Christ. Hallelujah. In bringing many sons into glory. But we do not yet see all things. Why? Because there is a devil out there who will never watch you step into that reality. Are you following me now? And this is the foundation of our teaching. Ephesians. Lord grant us insight tonight. The goal of this meeting is not just to make you spiritually educated. It's to make you powerful. If the church does not walk in dominion, there is trouble in our generation. Mm. Verse 12. Ephesians 6 verse 12. Are you there? Say amen. Alright. For we wrestle not against the word wrestle there is the word contend for we contend not against flesh and blood look up please in other words please follow me we are going to be i will be touching and be balancing many things about the concept of warfare deliverance satan are you listening to me very quickly watch this because i, I will need to balance a lot of teachings that many of us have received that have misguided us and have stopped us from coming into the place of kingdom authority. Now in the Bible, we have established the fact that God's desire is that many sons be, be born into what? Glory. Is that correct? Do you believe that? To raise you to a position where you live and reign and legislate on behalf of heaven and the earth. And now the Bible tells us we contend not. That means there are adversaries. Are you listening to me? There are all kinds of resistances coming from Satan. Watch this. I hope you realize that there is a law in this earth realm that whatever does not have a body cannot function in this realm. Is that correct? This is why the Bible says the church is called what? The body of Christ. The church is the body that the Godhead uses. So if God wants to heal, he finds a body. That can cooperate with him and be his hands here on the earth are you listening to me now satan does not have a physical body demons do not have physical bodies are you listening to me so it makes it impossible for them to freely flow in our midst so they search for human agents the bible says we wrestle not against what 
That means the issue is not your grandmother in your village. Are you listening to me? All these kind of deliverance things that people come. Now God is, there is a deliverance going on now. This is the real deliverance happening now. Are you listening to me? He sent forth his word and his word he led them and delivered them. Because there are many of us right now who have been misguided. You are sleeping in the night. Suddenly you see your mother or your father appear to you. And then you go to one false prophet like the guy who prophesied to that lady that she was going to die. That's a false prophet. Let me tell you something. A true prophet does not just reveal catastrophe. He stops it. If he's truly a prophet, there is authority to stop it. All these prophets that only reveal problem. There is something. Stop it. If you are not, you are not an ambassador. Go and sit down. Are you listening to me? So, now you come and meet me. Sam comes to meet me and says things are not working. And then the man is praying. Watch this. This is a lot of them have not come into a place of maturity. While you are praying, then I see Sam's grandmother doing incantations. The next thing I say, ah, Sam, your grandmother. And then I say to your grandmother and you. And I say, Sam, what am I seeing? I'm even seeing your sister. It may not be a lie. Even if they are witches and wizards, the Bible says what? We wrestle not against what? That means it is vain. It's vain just to look at this person and say, grandmother, just die. Don't you know that spirits don't die? They will move from one place and look for another entity. Your problem has not been solved. Are you following me now? There's all kinds of bitterness and anger in the body of Christ because everybody is blaming everybody. Hallelujah. Everybody is calling everybody a witch and a wizard and whatever. No, we wrestle not against flesh and blood. There are three levels of Satan's manifestations in the life of people. One is called possession, acute possession. That one is in control of your spirit. You are aware. That's the realm of witches and wizards and all of this. The second one is called influence, manipulation and control. That one, is, you are not possessed. But because of your mind, the Bible says, the weapons of our warfare are what? Are not carnal, but mighty through God. Are you listening to me? To the pulling down of what? Strongholds. They are in the realm of the mind. It's a casting down every imagination and every high thing that exalts itself above the knowledge of Christ. It's a bringing every thought to the obedience of Christ. So demons can manipulate people. Demons can manipulate preachers. Demons can manipulate tongue-talking believers. Are you listening to me? When you are born again, it's true that you cannot be possessed. But you can be manipulated greatly. Error is a type of demonic manipulation. Hallelujah. So every time the concept of what we call spiritual warfare, right, please, right. I need to define spiritual warfare right now. Spiritual warfare is not in terms of the word war, dear, please listen. The word war, dear, look up, please look up. Because this is our idea of war. Are you listening to me? So you are a warrior. We even act it in many ministries. They say, now assume your position and then you assume. And now you imagine in your mind, Satan, are you ready? And then you move back. Give him one punch. Then he gives you another one. Then finally, after so much travail, they beat you like you entered a meat machine. Then you come out like more than a conqueror. No, no. That is error. Are you listening to me? That's why we began to teach. Listen, every time you approach the realm of darkness, you approach from the position of Christ's finished work. The Bible says all things have already been conquered. You are not trying to conquer Satan. You are trying to enforce the victory. Are you listening to me? That's what we call the fight of faith. It's not the fight of sight or the fight of senses. Let me tell you what the Bible defines as real spiritual warfare. Spiritual warfare is the operation of the word and the spirit together to establish the victory that Christ has wrought. Say amen. 
if you are finding it hard to say amen this is a sign that this meeting is for you this night because many of us don't like it say ah this thing they give you an idea that you're a military man yes you are but listen the bible says the weapons of our warfare are not carnal they are not man-made they are mighty through god hallelujah let's read on thank you jesus Are you getting blessed tonight all right for we wrestle not against flesh and blood but against what principalities against against rulers of the darkness of this world then against spiritual wickedness these ones do not reign in this earth realm they operate from the realms of the second heavens remember in the book of daniel the bible says when daniel set himself to pray i follow me now when Gabriel was bringing in the prayer because he's the archangel in charge of service. The Bible says that spiritual wickedness across the territory of Persia, the prince of Persia intercepted. And because it's not in Gabriel's office to fight, it's the angels that fight. Hallelujah. The Bible says the angels confirms, they perform the words of God's messengers and so when 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 you stand as a believer the first understanding is that you are approaching Satan not in your strength as a representative many of us listen every time I stand to minister to the sick every time I minister to devils I don't stand as myself I say oh man of God you have an apostolic demons don't even know who is called an apostle they only know Jesus are you listening to me they can call you an apostle or a prophet or whatever. Demons don't know those things. All they know is Jesus and any ambassador that truly carries the badge of, his, of Jesus Christ. So rea you realize that you are high. You are seated up there. Every time you stand and look at Satan, don't be surprised. Now this is where I will balance it. Because many preachers have taught that every time challenges come or if you are truly manifesting faith listen to me if you are truly manifesting faith then when challenges come and the rest is it's a sign that you are backsliding that is another kind of error are you listening to me say amen, amen. thank you jesus So what is the warfare of a believer? How do you stand against the wiles of the enemy? Because that's what Ephesians is teaching us in verse 6. Verse 13. On account of the fact that we wrestle not against flesh and blood. He said, wherefore, take unto you the whole what? The whole what? Now let me. You will tell me whether knife and bow and arrow and so on and so forth was mentioned. There are people with all kinds of revelations that we teach in church and we build up a crippled body that you may be able to what did he say fight you may be able to what what does it mean to withstand to resist to refuse the victory over something it says stand everybody says stand stand yes stand therefore having your loins girded about with what is showing you the weapons that you use to fight the good fight of faith number one is what truth and ye shall know the truth and the truth shall do what set you free so every time there is bondage what do you need what do you need please truth revelation so every time there is bondage and you are praying in the spirit and say lord i sense bondage in our family there is bondage what is the revelation you need it's not the issue of killing your grandmother. You need light. You need light. The entrance of thy word giveth light and understanding unto the simple. It says, and having the breastplate of what? The breastplate of what? I had a man of God say it so beautiful. And I'm going to say it. He said, why did he say breastplate? Because that's the one that covers your heart. 
Remember, righteousness is the ability to stand before the Father's presence without a sense of inferiority and guilt. Every time righteousness shifts, you are vulnerable because Satan begins to use your past. Satan begins to use all kinds of things. Are you following me now? So Satan comes and tells you about the things you did yesterday and then you use truth. First, you stand and declare, I'm the righteousness of God in Christ. It's not because of what I have done. It's what Christ has done. I am walking in the victory that Christ has given me. Mm. That's what the Bible calls a fight of faith. That's how believers are to stand. So Ephesians teaches us who we are in Christ. To know your identity. Then it tells you how to live and manifest the Christ-like character. No bribery, no corruption, no sleeping around. No malpractice. Say amen. Don't look at me. Then it teaches you how to stand. Shows you who you are in heaven. Teaches you how to operate in the earth. And then teaches you how to conquer the powers of hell. It says stand therefore. Having your loins girded about with truth. And having the breastplate of righteousness. And your feet short with the gospel of what? The gospel of what? There is a gospel called the gospel of peace. One of the manifestations of the spirit of Satan is trouble. There are many of you that trouble is a byproduct of violating many laws of God. The gospel, the word peace there is not just calmness. Are you listening to me? The gospel of shalom. The word shalom there is the word prosperity. Hallelujah. There is trouble if you are poor, true or false. There is trouble if you are sick, true or false. He said there is a gospel. There is a gospel. It says, let your feet, what do you do with your feet? You walk. That means let this perpetually be your mindset. Walk with this. With the gospel that God wants to prosper you. With the gospel that God wants you to live in health. Are you following me now? With the gospel of shalom. Not just peace and quietness. Above all, taking the what? Shield of faith. The shield of faith. Wherewith you will quench all the fiery darts of the wicked. Taking the shield of faith. Now watch this. The shield. What do you do with a shield? You stop attacks. Are you listening to me? Faith comes by what? But the manifestation of faith does not come by hearing. It comes by speaking. Faith enters you when you hear, but is released from you when you speak. Are you listening to me? And so, you, you hear the word. Not newspapers, not chase magazines. Faith comes when you hear the word. So, as I'm listening to tapes, as I'm building myself, as I'm studying Christian books, I'm hearing the voice of the Spirit through those pages, and my faith is built, and what happens? I hold a sheet of faith. So, when Satan looks at you, when you go to your CGPA, and you see all kinds of carryover, Satan says, that is it. No, you lift the shield of faith quickly. I am what the Bible says I am. I am full of the word. They send you a report from home. They say, guess what? Something is happening. The landlord is coming to kick people. Take on the shield of faith. This is what the Bible calls the warfare of the believer. Not to say the last money that came, where it is. Mm -mm. Take the shield of faith. I refuse to be offended. Your friend is calling you something. You take the shield of faith. And the helmet of what? The helmet of what? Of salvation. Where are we? The helmet of salvation. Look up, please. Why did he call it a helmet? Why did he say the hand gloves of salvation? Why did he call it the helmet of salvation? Because you cover your head. Salvation is the foundation on which everything starts. This one is salvation as being born again. Are you listening to me? That's what the Bible calls assurance of salvation. There are many of us who are saved, but you are not sure if you are saved. This is why we took our time to teach you a lot of things. Many of you are truly saved. But when you go to certain evangelistic meetings, by the time they finish, you, you now say, to, am I saved or not? They say, just go out if you are not sure. Please don't, don't disturb me. There are many of you, every altar call, every single altar call to be born again, you are coming out. 
Now, I'm not, I'm, there's nothing wrong. If it's an altar call to pray in partition and all of this, but if it's an altar call to give your life to Christ, can I surprise you? There is only one sin an unbeliever has. That's the sin of not confessing Jesus as Lord. Hmm. An unbeliever has only one sin. It doesn't matter what he has done. He is lost anyway. The only sin that takes an unbeliever to hell is not confessing Jesus as Lord. All right, let's let's talk on something else. Are you listening to me? The helmet of salvation. And what? The sword. Come on. The sword of the spirit, which is what? Which is what? The word of God, the sword of the spirit. So every time Satan brings his fiery dart, what do you use? Let's look at the life of Jesus, our high priest and our pattern man. The Bible makes us to understand that Satan comes to meet him after fasting 40 days and 40 nights. Watch this. Every time Satan comes to a man, Satan comes to meet Sam and says, Sam, did God really say you are the HOD of worship team? Watch this. Satan will always try to to let you do sensual things to validate what God has already said. I mean, he just came out of the waters and there was a voice. This is my beloved son. Am I right? Now Satan is telling him, if you are really the son of God. That's why Satan will tell you, if you are really beautiful, sleep with that guy. If you are really intelligent, you better do whatever you can do to get five points. Many of us are putting ourselves under needless pressure, trying to prove what the word of God already says we are. Are you listening to me? So he's told him, if you are truly the son of God, turn what? Stones into bread. Jesus would have said, all right, I will not only stone, turn stones into bread, you will see butter on it to let you know I'm the most high, not just the son of God. That's what many of us would have done. Say, That's an easy thing, come on. Blue band, I call you from the leaves in the tree. But he said it's not necessary. It is. It is. It is. That's, see, this is how to fight Satan. No, he cannot stand it is written. Watch this. Do you know Satan even used it is written against Jesus? In the realm of the spirit is an interchange of words. The higher words prevail. So, demons sit down. Witches and whatever. What do they use? They don't bring Cain and flog you. They use it is written in their ordinance. The Bible says, blotting out every ordinance is something that was written. Even the judgment upon the kings, Psalms 149, is called the written judgment. The world is a legal place, friends. Are you listening to me? So he said it is written. And then Satan takes him. Watch this. And he tells him, he showed him the kingdoms of all this world. And said, if you bow to me, I will give you. Because until Jesus died, Satan was the legal holder of the keys. Where did he get it from? Adam. That's why Jesus didn't say, are you joking? It's my kingdom. He knew he could do it. And he said what? He refused. Satan takes him to a tower. And says, can you just fall down? For it is written. He shall put his angels charge. Come on, Satan. Satan is studying the Bible. You are not studying it. Hallelujah. Are you following me now? So he comes and begins to attack you. He tries to find everywhere the Bible. Look at all the places you are to protect. The breastplate of righteousness. Helmet of salvation. The gospel of peace. Hallelujah. You are holding in your hands the sword of the spirit. And then on your arm, there is a shield of faith. There's nothing to cover your back because you are not supposed to give up. You are not supposed to retreat. The prophecy has been made that you are a winner. So there was nothing designed to cover your back. The Bible says, he who turn, if you turn in the day of battle, your strength is small. Hallelujah. Now, practicals. Satan begins to throw all kinds of fiery darts. Watch this, the operation of Satan. He begins to use the word of God. Sam, you will not be born again. You will not be this. Your salvation is not true. Suddenly you begin to feel pains around your body. And truly, truly, physically speaking, there are pains. 
suddenly you go to your bank account there is nothing there you go to the board what happened the results are not doing well everything you lay your hands to do everything and it's not working and then satan tells you now using the evidences you see around you can you truly say god is faithful and then the, the man who has now become sense driven says lord okay but let's look at this thing critically now that's where the bible says abraham considered not the moment satan reduced you from a spiritual person to a scientist you are in trouble because he begins to give you facts he said let's examine this critically you just prayed the miracle service you just had that the only money that your father had has disappeared watch this now you know who you are in christ meaning his victory is your victory you already know the end by prophecy he told his son timothy he said war a good warfare with the prophecy god gives you prophecy so that you can know what the end will be then by the manifestation of the principles of the kingdom you begin to walk into that reality hallelujah so i get up in the morning and i say satan it doesn't matter what you are bringing i believe what the bible says i'm the head and not the tail i'm above and not beneath i'm hearing reports while i look not at the things that are seen but the things that are unseen because the things that are unseen are permanent the things that are seen are temporal hallelujah satan uses human agents when they look at you and say you will not become anything in life you say though my beginning is small my latter end shall fire yes my village may not be in the map of nigeria but i know that the blood of jesus was shed for me i am wonderfully and fearfully made i am precious sickness is hitting you down if that same spirit come on now that raised christ you are sending words in the spirit you are saying i'm a good soldier i'm not weak the moment you speak God tells the angels, are you not hearing? Have I not written that I am alert and active, watching over my word? Every time you speak, you put pressure on God to protect his integrity. So I refuse to be silent. I refuse to be silent. I refuse to be silent. And you begin to speak words of faith in the name of the Lord Jesus that terminal disease over my father will not take him in the name of the lord jesus i believe i believe i believe he that must come unto god must believe it looks like you are stupid but when the result comes let me tell you something friends god is not joking with you many of you are already afraid now where will my school fees come from and satan is telling you all right the proposal your uncle made for you are you ready to consider it? you say in the name of jesus the lord is my shepherd come on the sword of the spirit the lord is my shepherd the lord is my shepherd a non-believer comes to ask you out use the weapon of god's word what fellowship has righteousness got to do with lawlessness and what communion has light got to do with darkness there is a decision and you need to say no the bible says the grace of god has appeared unto all men teaching us to say no there is grace let me tell you something it may take a while and this is where the bible says follow them who through faith and patience one of the most frustrating things is that you are speaking god's word and pressing and results are not coming but you know what there are many of us that you get to that edge suddenly you give up there's a song that says i was right at the edge of a breakthrough but couldn't see it are you listening to me many of us when you are at the end of the road where your blessing the bible says, if the cloud be full of rain the man you call father abraham for 25 years god spoke when some people were celebrating the silver jubilee of their children, he was still waiting. He said, God told me. The man we call Noah, God told him rain will come. Let me tell you how long they built the ark. 100 years. How long have you waited on God? That you are yelling at him and you, 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 you will not. Many of us are talking, but what we are speaking, we are sowing demonic terrible seeds. Are you listening to me 
So every time I pray, I take the word of God. I say, Lord, I know you are faithful. In the name of Jesus, I know you are faithful. You may be crying. There's nothing wrong. Still cry. But say, Lord, my tears will not stop me from speaking. You're sleeping and you're tired and you're weary. You want to pray. You say, there's no result. I've been praying. There's no marriage. Can you stand? Ah. Isaiah 34, seek out of the book of the Lord and read. None of these words shall fail. None shall want her maid. Lord, I thank you. You designed me for a man somewhere. And I thank you. You are called the father of spirits. Rather than warning God and saying, Lord, I'm giving you the last chance. I will backslide. You will go to hell. Are you listening to me? Say, I will stand. Say, I will stand. See, final year students, listen to what I'm saying very well. This message is important. Because many people graduate with all kinds of excitement. And then you meet a root shock in life. Suddenly, you find out that it's not the way Nigerian film has told you. They just wrote three years later. They showed the guy with one big house and everything. And in your mind, because you fed yourself with all kinds of things. The Bible says, follow them who through faith and patience. I'm not saying God cannot bless people. But I'm saying believers must be taught that patience is an aspect of faith. Because when God wants to give you 20 million next week, Satan will say, take 2 million now. And that's how many people out of all this get rich rubbish. Many people have gotten themselves, they've pierced themselves with sorrow. The things of God may be gradual, but it's sure. We have a sure word. Are you following me now? Whatever God cannot give me, I cannot get it. Whatever God cannot give me, I don't even want it. Because it is only the blessing of the Lord that maketh rich and added no sorrow. Every other blessing comes with a measure of sorrow. Anything that will take me to hell, I don't want it. Are you listening to me? So you must learn to stand. Every time you are praying, it's not the issue of people to say, Lord, I know that if you kill, if you kill my, my, my sister, the moment you kill my sister, I know the door will open. Lord, I squeeze her spirit, I put it in a bottle, I close it, all this kind of demonic prayer. Many of us even do prophetic things. Yes! You go to the houses of prophets. They say, bring the pictures of all the people. They put it in a bottle, close it, and shake different things. Smoke is coming out, and then you feel it's working. Because we walk, see the Bible says we walk by faith and not by sight. Satan walks by sight and not by faith. Hallelujah. So as a believer, you will pray. Every time when we talk to people about praying, praying, it's not just the issue of comfort. Are you listening to me? Every time you pray, you afford yourself the opportunity to send words into your future. You are prophesying. What you see in my life is not what I'm praying about today. It's the result of what I prayed about yesterday. Tomorrow you will see what I'm speaking today. Are you listening to me? There are many of you, you are speaking with your one sandals. The blessing of the Lord is upon my life. I will be a blessing to generations. And while you are saying it, you are drinking Gary with no sugar. Don't worry. Be happy because you will not have the opportunity to see that again. I saw one picture that we snapped when we were at the cafeteria. You remember? We sat down like prisoners, all of us. I was with my jacket. Jimmy was here. Jakes, all of us, we just sat down. We were laughing. But while we were laughing, we were speaking. Come on. This is the difference between you and the person in the class. You are listening to the same lecture, but you are not going to the same place. There is an ability. You are in your office. Everybody is receiving monthly salary, but there is an extra grace. You are tithing. You are giving. You are stopping the devourer. I will never be a failure in life. I am telling you. I'm telling you, I'll never be. I've found the keys. I've found the keys. And I will give you the keys of the kingdom. I believe the word of God. I'm not just preaching it. I believe. That's why when people are making a boast of what they have become, I can't join them because I know how I got there. Hallelujah. 
so you are not ordinary you see the goal of this thing many of us feel very excited now but every time have you been speaking about the things that are troubling you don't allow satan to just ride through your life don't use wrong words no every time you use wrong words you may feel psychologically comforted but you have tortured yourself again thank god for not killing your enemies because you'll be the first person to drop down and die so i have the spirit of faith i lift up the sword of the spirit hallelujah you're on your job and somebody is frustrating you none of your business with the person just pray and say lord in the name of jesus don't say don't tell god what satan is doing tell him what his word says he will do many of us go to pray and you spend hours telling god what satan is doing that's not what he said you should do he said as i hear you speak it's not just speaking your words ezekiel 37 verse 7 i prophesied as i was commanded and then there was a sound he says oh bones hear ye the word of who the lord there's no other word that is valid in the realm of the spirit not even your own words it is the words of god are you listening to me i choose to believe god's word see this is a training this is a training you're on your job you enter your office and you lay your hands in the name of jesus this is the day that who made who made i do not read in my bible that satan helped god to make any day this is the day that the Lord, who happens to be my father, has made. It didn't say has created. It said has made. Meaning it was designed. It was crafted. When God was making my day, he said, uh, How will Josh's life be tomorrow? It will be best for him to walk sick, free, blessed, prosperous. And then he created it. But Satan will step into that day and say, no, it will not be like that. And then he say, okay, to our Lord, you see what? No, you stand and say, I, I have found it. My Bible is a mirror. My Bible is a door. My Bible is a picture. It lets me know what God has said. And I take that word, I put it in my spirit. And I'm not going to let any devil stop me. I will speak the word of God. As you take your time praying in the spirit, as you pray in the spirit, you are building capacity. You know why? So that your strength will not be small. That's why we pray in tongues. There are many of us, our strength is small. Every little challenge will just fall back. Though he slay me, Job said, yet will I praise him. Are you listening to me? Final year students, many of you are already afraid. Calling all kinds of uncles and aunties. And saying, what of uh, uh, uncles uh, The other issue we spoke about when I was in 200 level. Oh, if God be for me. If God be for me, if my God be for me, if God be for me, if God be for me, I need not pledge allegiance to any man under the sun. If God be for me, if God, he said, I will lift up my eyes to the hills. From whence cometh my help? My help comes. Lift up your eyes for your school fees. Lift up your eyes for your job. The Bible says you will occupy houses you did not build. That's what my, you may not believe it, but I believe it. And I will walk in it. I walk in the favor of the Lord. He said, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou Prepares a table before me, not in the absence, in the presence of my enemies. So as a final year student, you walk out and say, Hallelujah. A graduate is out with the anointing of the Holy Ghost, not just a certificate from ABU. I have an anointing. The Esther anointing is upon me. The favor anointing is upon me. Every door that is closed must open. I begin to speak. So you finish your exams, and while other people are popping beer. And behaving foolishly look at their lives after 10 years you will regret it you will know the consequences of not speaking you take one or two weeks back what are you doing you are just speaking I say no I need to build something the only thing that is permitted to enter your future they are words hallelujah if I were you 
I will take five days. I will dedicate every day to speak on several aspects of my life. Today is finances. I will sit down and search through scriptures. Let me tell you something, friends. This thing works. Are you listening to me? It works. And I believe the word of the Lord. And you begin to speak. You begin to prophesy. You begin to declare. And you say, Lord, I have no man. Maybe your father is late. Maybe your mother is late. And everybody is running away from you. Cheer up. Cheer up. You are an ambassador. Say it. Say it again. If there is anything I want you to take out of Koinonia final year students, some of you, we may not see you again. Maybe forever. But I want you to know that while you were staying in Zaria, that a central message in your spirit that you are an ambassador. I tell you, many of you, after many years, you will sleep and you will hear these messages. You will remember that there was somebody shouting at the top of his voice. Whenever life presses you down, suddenly you will hear it in your spirit. The Bible says you shall hear a voice. It didn't say the voice of the Holy Ghost. You shall hear a voice. The voice of the spirit. The voice of ambassadors. The voice of faithful men. You will hear these messages again. You are an ambassador. Arise, sons of glory. Arise, generals. Arise sons of glory when they say they are bribing in the office you say no no nevertheless the foundation of the lord standeth sure have been this seal the lord knoweth them that are his and let every man that named the name of christ depart you say no i'm not a corrupt nigerian you become a minister no way no way no corruption i hope you are not just jumping because some of the people who are doing what is spoiling this nation, they were in church. They had this message that I'm, I'm teaching to you. But they did not mix it with faith. I tell you, there is a generation rising. Are you hearing me? There is a generation rising. We are not the wasted generation. I see it. I see the breaking of a brand new day. I see the breaking of a brand new day new day steve can you help me i see the breaking of a brand new day listen i will not organize dinner for you final year it is we are going to launch you here with an anointing are you listening to me we will launch you with an anointing that's why we told you tonight is your night listen tonight is the i want you to open up your spirit that's what we did for the final year students. That's what we always do. It's wonderful to organize dinner and dress and do this wonderful. But you have eaten enough. It's time to receive something. Hear me? Let me tell you, words have prophetic implication. It will follow you after decades in your life. Hallelujah. Isaac looked at his son Esau and blessed him did he give him money what did he give him and the bible tells us that a few years later esau came with cattle he came with servants where did he get them from that's what will follow you so that after five years we see you coming with companies and ministries and corporations and children the recession notwithstanding none of your business with the recession you are an ambassador you belong to a class of royalty i'm telling you this when you graduate people will laugh at you they'll tell you what i'm saying does not make sense but the generation that will survive the times that are coming will be men of the word if the word cannot do it then we are hopeless but thank god for the power of the word it created the heavens and the earth the bible says through faith we understand that the world that my future that my life that my finances is framed by the word final year students all of you i want you to jump up gloriously all final year students hallelujah hallelujah now i want to invite all final year students i hope we can have this Okay, not this side because of the elders. Please just dress here a little bit. All of you jump out here and come and line up quickly. Please do it quickly. Yahweh. Yahweh.
hearing any word is jumping and busting champagne and you a believer that is royalty i don't care how many people in your family have not become successes there is an anointing that will come upon you it will set you on high i tell you those of you out can you pray in the spirit for one minute pray in the spirit you have been taught you know the power of prayer. Come on, pray. In the name of Jesus. Powerful. We are releasing you as an infant of fire. I tell you, you will change. You will shape history. You will shape history. I am confident. The word of God is strong in you. The word of God is strong in you. The word of God is strong in you. students listen to me hallelujah listen please listen I'm talking to you with all my heart you have had teachings on faith true or false true or false you have had teachings on the grace of God you have had teachings on the fear of the Lord you have had teachings on character the Bible says he gave unto some apostles prophets by the ministry of the servants of God for years some of you you have been built in the word of God I assure you that word will keep you are you listening to me look at me now you know success is not a mistake true or false who is still trying to learn now you know that there is an operation of the word of God in you now you know that you don't just have a certificate you have an anointing that you are being raised up with Christ. This is not about man of God. This is not about woman of God. You will go and meet your colleagues who have spent their days in the university just reading and living for Satan. Refuse to mix up with them. You may be a fanatic, but I tell you, if you are ashamed of the word of God, you will be a failure in life. He said, for I'm not ashamed of the gospel. Our fathers, the holy men of faith, kept this word and they used it to change history are you listening to me great men 
received inventions from this word. Great men had model families from this word. We have taught you things about family life. We have taught you things about, about the principles of God. Relationship, money, kingdom economics. You have no excuse to fail in life. Through tears, we have labored in the word and in prayer for you. To build you. Let me tell you something. I commend you to the word of his grace. That is able to build you and to give you an inheritance among them that are sanctified. Keep the principles you have had. Some of you, you may not see any results yet. But I want to pray for you. Hallelujah. I want to pray for you. I want to pray that God will put a blessing upon your life. Listen, listen. It will take you from your village to shake the nations. I tell you, this and there is an anointing that can pick a man. I have found my servant David and with my holy oil from the wilderness to Saul's throne. From the wilderness, there is an anointing that took Esther from her hamlet, not known by anyone. You may be lost in this crowd right now. For some of you, you will be great apostles. For some of you, you will be men and women of God, bishops. Many of you will be the next Amphi McPhersons. Many of you will be the next business moguls. I'm not motivating you. But you must keep the word of God. Listen to me. Many graduates come out with excitement after six months. What they call faith six months earlier now becomes foolishness because of the reality of what is happening. Look at the mess and the nonsense that is going on in Abuja. When you preach to many people in Abuja what I'm preaching to you, some of you live there. They'll just laugh and say, forget Jare, leave all those your childishness. Let's face what? Reality. Tell them my Bible says I am the truth and I am reality. Reality. Reality is everything that is in the word of God. You will not beg for food. Ladies, no barrenness. No. That subject is gone forever. I don't care what your past is. That's why we are settling it here. Are you ready? We are going to pray for you. And bless you. And pray that the grace of God will come upon you. Deuteronomy. I first want to bless you with the blessings that the Jews used to bless their people with. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Deuteronomy 28. I just want you to shout Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. In the name that is above all names. Father, I pray that as I pronounce these blessings upon your sons and daughters, let the angels that signify these words, let the angels that make this happen, make it happen for them. In the name of Jesus. You are blessed in the city. You are blessed in the field. Blessed is the fruit of your body. And the fruit of your ground. And the fruit of your cattle. The increase of your cows. And the flocks of your sheep. Blessed is your basket. And your kneading trough. Blessed shall thou be when you come in. And blessed shall thou be when you go out. The Lord shall cause your enemies that rise up against you to be smitten before your face. They shall come out in one way, but they shall flee in seven ways. The Lord shall command a blessing upon your storehouse. You shall lend to nations. You will not borrow from anyone. I prophesy unto you, you are the head and not the tail. You are above and not beneath. I call your husbands. I call your wives. I call your children. I call your prosperity. In the name of Jesus. Whatever limitation is upon your life. Let it be broken now. In the name of Jesus cultural limitation be broken in the name of Jesus territorial limitation be broken in the name of Jesus false mindsets 
be broken in the name of Jesus. I command that you are prosperous in the name of Jesus. You will not beg on the streets of Nigeria. I forbid you. I command jobs to be waiting for you. I command ideas to come upon you. For those of you who are going into ministry, I pray that you will not mislead God's people in the name of Jesus. That apostles will come out of you. Prophets will come out of you. Evangelists will come out of you. Teachers of the world will come out of you. Pastors will come out of you. In the name of Jesus. Ladies, I bless your womb. No barrenness. You will not give birth to abnormal children. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Listen. The guys, I want to pray for you. That spirit that comes upon men, listen, that makes them wild fathers. That spirit that can come upon a young man who is well behaved right now, but 10 years later, he has become a source of terror to his wife and children. Let that spirit never come upon you. In the name of Jesus, you will be model fathers. I prophesy model fathers in the name of Jesus. Sisters, you will be model mothers. You will raise children after the fear of the Lord. In the name of Jesus. I prophesy to the earth. Job said, as for the earth, out of it comes bread. As a servant of the living God, I kneel down upon this earth. I invoke the bread that is upon the earth. I command it to come to your life. I, I kneel down. I invoke it in the name of Jesus. I command bread upon the earth you will not beg for bread you will not beg for bread you will not beg for bread hallelujah that spirit listen of untimely death that a graduate comes to collect his certificate and as he's going back in the name that is above all names i command by the anointing of the holy ghost every spirit of death upon your life be lifted forever in the name of jesus hallelujah every terminal disease whether it's ss whatever kind of things you inherited right now it falls in this place in the name of jesus hallelujah I command that the Godfather himself the one who can connect men higher the one who knows who is who in Abuja in Lagos in Jos in Portacot my father and my maker I pray that God will connect you I call for your destiny help us 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 by the power of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. For those of you, look at me. For those of you who are one leg in, one leg out with God, you are not strong in faith. Every little thing shakes you. You cannot be a general that way. I impart strength upon you. No backsliding in the name of Jesus no backsliding in the name of jesus no backsliding now i want to release something upon you listen to me every time listen every ministry that god calls has certain anointings are you listening to me every ministry that god calls has certain anointings when god called and established this ministry there are certain graces. I have seen these graces in my life. The ministers have seen it in their life. I have preached about it. Many people laughed at me when I was saying it. Hallelujah. There is a compelling power. I call it an akazo. My God, I pray that you make your people believe this. 
there is an anointing for wealth and prosperity hear me no this one will come with an impartation there is an anointing for faith god gave me the spirit of faith in the name that is above if i be a servant of god at the wind of the spirit right now let it blow 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 the gift of faith the presence of god anakazo the compelling power it will compel in nigeria it will compel in south africa in uk everywhere but take it 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 i impart it upon you let it come as a mantle as a cloak upon your life upon your spirit the favor anointing the favor anointing that came upon esther the favor anointing in the name that I, the name of the lord jesus i command right now you need favor in nigeria you need favor in nigeria lift your hands final year students my father and my god let a mantle of favor receive it receive it receive it favor i invoke it from the realm of the spirit from the realm of the spirit I separate you from evil. I separate you from accidents. I separate you from fire disaster. In the name of Jesus. I separate you from the activities of terrorists. In the name of Jesus. Thou shall not fear. Go and prosper in business. Go and prosper in business. Go and prosper on your job. Go and prosper in ministry. Go and prosper. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. God is sending many of us. Listen. We have spoke about, we've spoken about kingdom advancement. Some of you are going into family life. Some of you into the media. Some of you into ministry. Some of you into education. Wherever you are, you are an ambassador. You are an ambassador. You represent the heavens. You represent the heavens. My God bless you. The God of Jacob bless you. The one who you honored while on campus, may he honor you. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Go and be a light. Some of you will go outside this nation. I command doors of nations to be opened for you. In the name of the Lord Jesus. For those of you who are still confused, listen about your purpose and what God has called you to do between now and the next 14 days I prophesy that by divine encounters let there be supernatural clarity in the name of Jesus none of you will make mistakes in your life not with your job or your ministry or marriage or any of such things in the name of the Lord Jesus at me say I'm victorious. I'm victorious say I know the word of God, I know the word of God. I'm, a I'm a champion I'm a winner, I'm a winner. say I'm born, again. I'm born again the spirit of life is in me I am great I will shake this nation I will shake Africa with the light of God and with the power of God's word say in the name of Jesus my words are prophetic my words are creative I call for blessings I call for grace I call for greatness in the name of the Lord Jesus 
whatsoever has not been planted by God is uprooted. The favor of God is upon me. Is upon me. Give God a shout of praise. Now, listen to me. According to the measure of grace that has been given, we graduate you. Because, see, this is a prophetic statement. There are some of you that have issues that, humanly speaking, but according to the order of grace, the Bible says, whosoever ministers, let him minister according to the measure of grace. According to the measure and the order of grace that God has given, I command this night, this night, this night, in the presence of God who is able to do all things and his holy angels who are mighty, we graduate you from Amadou Bello University. In the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Ghost. Hear me, hear me. By this statement, I command courses to be waived. Let missing scripts be found. Let policies change. In the name of Jesus. For the papers you have written that you know except God helps you. There is a name the Holy Ghost is called. The helper. My father, let your spirit help the sons of the kingdom. Receive the help of the Lord. And for the remaining papers you have to write. Look at me. And Samson said, Oh Lord, let my hair grow this one time. And let me push. The Bible says he pushed. There are some CGPS right now. I command that class rise to 2-2. Two, two. I command 2-2 two, two, rise to 2-1. I command 2-1 rise to first class. In the name of Jesus. In your final exam, let there be a harvest of five points. Let there be a harvest of five points. Let there be a harvest of five points. A harvest of five points. I pray for your project. Every supervisor, as long as he's under heaven, if the cloud is above him, every supervisor that will not let you go, I will not work on your project. By the fire of the Holy Ghost, I command him, to let you go in the name of Jesus. And every lecturer that vows that he must sleep with you before you pass, let the Lord compel him to mark your project and let you go. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I prophesy unto you. I pray. There are many of you, you have not even started your project. You have no idea whatsoever. But there is a spirit in man and the inspiration, the unction, the anointing, the bread, the audacity, the capacity of the spirit. Make it them of understanding. I program your spirit to succeed, to understand in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Every sickness that we want to stop you in the name of Jesus. Some of you need finances for your project. That's what is stopping you. I will lift up my eyes onto the hills. From whence cometh my help? I command right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus. The ravens came and fed Elijah. I command men who will serve as the ravens that will come to feed you receive supply receive supply in the name of jesus say i'm above say i'm above in the name of jesus i like you
to turn around and hug 10 people and tell them congratulations. It's great to be a graduate. Now go back to your seat victoriously. Go back to your seat victoriously. Thank you for watching our entire video today. If you feel you can bless someone, please join us and spread the gospel by sharing this video on your social media.